to what is up people of the world it's wednesday september 14th and we're off the rails um here is ethan klein there it is that's the game oh no they're trying to reach across the aisle to the tater talk i'm today. growing my hair back people people I'm a man. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That guy's like Shut up. Shut up. My neck doesn't exist. Is that you, Jamie? No! Is that you shredding? Of course. Damn, yeah, bro. Hello. Hello. Ah. Hello. Oh, there's, of course there's more. That was way too short. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> we love you, Trump. Yeah, this is giving me like Pink Floyd vibes. Whoa! Whoa! Yes. Okay, the troll doll. <laughs> Are we done? Nope, we're not done. Hello, hello, hello. Oh no, no it's not Ninja's turn. All right, guys. Ethan Klein, the boys are there. The crew. <laughs> we love you, Ninja. We love you. Another one? Another chapter? Yeah. Are we done? No, we're done. Okay, we're off. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Welcome, everybody. I'm so glad you all are here. Thank you, Zach, and what I assume is Ian on that beautiful collaboration. Of Always Ian. Audio okay. and visual journey to the center of space. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beautiful, touching stuff here. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey and Stamps.com. Today, I'm also drinking... Strawberry energy. Sup, nation. What's up, nation? Gamer, sup. The last time. Oh, damn. Everybody's hitting that sup. The last time I we had a sup show, people were like, I love. I love supped up Ethan because it gets crazy when I drink this. Yeah, I'm a little scared today. So energizing. Mm hmm. I think Sam put too much in here, too. I tell everyone to put two scoops on the back. It says one scoop. You're trying to give me a heart attack? It's one scoop per eight ounces. That's way more than eight ounces. Add one? Yeah, it is more. Unrelated, can I give a shout out to the fan who I accidentally let in the Instagram live? Shout out. I, <laughs> I accidentally let a fan in, and I had to end the stream and restart it. Shout out. Sorry I hung oh. up on you. God bless. Oh, that just happened. I watched that happen. It was very funny. So they get... kept them in there as a collab. It was a little I, well, I, you never know. You never know. Yeah. I heard, <gasps> And then I looked over, and it was we were we, we were co-hosting. Did they get an opportunity to say anything? Uh, they did not. Yeah, they just okay. said, <gasps> and, and excitement. <laughs> got, All got right, well, shout out. You know, stuff happens, but we love Hello. you. Um, we were just arguing, uh, not arguing, but we're live right now on TikTok, and that's when all the tater tots come out. It's super interesting. They're like dedicated fans. I mean. Our whole highlights channel is like 100% tater tots. I mean, they are funding, they are funding our whole highlights channel. It's wonderful, Hello. but you know, I think it's time we start reaching out to the tater tots out here. Uh, I can be your daddy. I can teach you how to be a man. I'm gonna teach you how to get laid. All that stuff, man. Trust me. No. Trust me. I got advice. I, no! I'm successful. Shut up. I'm at, hey, I'm fat and successful. Imagine what you could do if being fit and, and, and you know what I mean? D -d 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 Shut the fuck up. It's unattractive. Hey, Andrew, stop. This isn't about you. You're not even allowed on TikTok. My neck Sorry, doesn't guys. exist. I'm talking to TikTok. Sorry, guys. Uh, he's not allowed in here. Yeah, but I am planning. Oh, thank you, Dan. I really do want to plan an alpha segment. Um, that's a, coming up on Friday. Because Dan's fixing my mic. You guys could probably hear that. 
<laughs> your zap. Yeah, Dan's just tightening the, the nub there. Okay, very good. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Because, you know, I realized that like, our channel's having a problem, okay? The, we- the ladies, we have a great relationship with the ladies. We love the ladies. Actually, I think we're great with everyone but like Alpha Nation, the Manosphere. They all hate my guts. Ladies and... And so we need to reach out. I need to prove to them that I'm a masculine man and that we hold the same values and that that I can be an ally and a daddy to them. So on Friday, we're going to begin a new series of alpha segments to reach across the aisle graciously, magnanimously to get this, to get some alphas going. Yeah, but anyway, the, obviously the obvious question for everybody here is how is everyone's butthole doing after Wednesday? The chip challenge. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's been rough. <laughs> yeah, so Wednesday we all did the one chip challenge, by the way. That episode was so much fun watching it back. I went back a lot of times and watched certain parts of it. So I think the show was a hit. Oh, yeah, it was really fun to watch back. Living it was a different experience, but watching back it was great. I watched it back a few times. AB, you said that you wouldn't do it for a million dollars. In that moment, I was 100% serious. And now? I just had to think it. on it. Stop. You did it. It's complicated. Bro, you do it for 500. Stop. There's an extra There's one left. We can prove it right I now. I would not do that for $1,000. $500, And I know you'd give me $1,000. I'm not doing it. Hell no. How's your butthole? How's your recovery? Just tell me everything. Uh, it's okay. I got a root canal yesterday. Oh, and like shit. midway through the dentist, I started to feel my stomach bubbling. I'm oh, like, no. oh my God, please, no. But thankfully, it didn't hit me till later at night, and I oh. felt like I was shitting fire. That's so lucky, because, yeah, basically all of yesterday, I had, a, like, emergencies where I had to run to the toilet. Mm-hmm. And it Ow. was hot. I mean, it was hot. It wasn't as hot, but it was hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Burn. It was It was bad. I just left the bidet on to just, like, while I was shitting. I know yeah. that sounds disgusting, but just to cool my asshole off. Wait, while you were shitting? Like, in between. What are you talking about? Yeah, just... You were the, shitting into a jet of water? I was letting the jet you? go. I turn it off, let some out, and turn it back on. Okay. But yeah. not shitting and squirting at the same time. No, 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 no. You had an impulsate mode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm shitting my pants. Yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful it harmony just, of shit and water. It was just back to back. <laughs> they should set that show up outside the Bellagio. I was about to say, it's the Bellagio fountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lena, how are you? I mean, uh, the beast mode absolutely destroyed. Somebody pointed out you beat Sean Evans' score, which is pretty incredible. He did five minutes. I saw that. That's pretty crazy. I am proud of myself. I didn't have as bad of a reaction as AB, but also for me, the day after, it, it did mess me up. A little bit in the morning, and then that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a one-day thing. Anyone else want to share there? It was just the first night for me that was the rough one, and then I'm good now. Day after, I was fine. Everything's back to normal. Pretty good. And poor Zach, he had obviously ate more than all of us, so I was worried about you all night. Well, funny enough, I ended up catching a a little cold. Mm -hmm. I don't know from that, but um, yeah. All right. Thank you, Zach. The chip. You poisoned me. Uh, but did you feel any ramifications from the grain of corn that you ingested? No, no I did no. not. Okay, good. No, we were. Wor- everyone was really worried about you. I was worried about David. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. And Ian. Well, Ian got hit real hard too. Ian. I mean, you were di- you were dead basically at the end of the last episode. It was just the stomach, just the punching of the stomach and the intestines. It felt very normal and natural, and can't have any lasting effects, I'm sure, on the body, but. Uh, no, I, yesterday I took such a, like a, I'm, I'm sorry, I took such a hot shit. Yeah, you go ahead. You and can I it. just finished, and I just crawled into the shower and just put it as cold as possible and just sat in there. Sam was not home at the time. So, yeah, go on. I'm learning this now. Yeah. It was rough. I went home a little early yesterday. Yeah, Sam told me you weren't eating, which made me concerned. Because I, I think putting stuff in your stomach is good to protect it. You want to dilute the spice that's in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it was not fun. Would you do it again? For a million bucks? Yeah. What wouldn't we do for a million bucks? I mean, A.B. You know? I don't know. 
that. I'm gonna put that to the test someday. But, um, okay, that was fun. Yeah, and just, honestly, the person we should all be worried about is Zach, obviously, who didn't eat this whole thing, but just the tip of it, this piece here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dick Tip. Um, here, actually, there's a lot of good memes in these, on, uh, <coughs> on the subreddit. Really good stuff here. Let's take a look. Well, this, yeah, Flocka, not even once. Addicts before and after. Alcohol, weed. Weed? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Say what? He was on something before. This is the before? <laughs> and then Flocka is the worst one. Yeah, the Flocka really hit you hard, A.B. Yeah. A.B., you don't like this photo of you. Like, you really don't this like it. This is the worst photo I've ever seen of me in my life. We're going to discuss that later. Okay. More on that later. There was a little bit of inner office uh, drama over this photo. Yep. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, we're going to be doing an HR segment. There's been a lot of drama, a lot of conflict brewing behind the scenes. So I will be sitting in as HR to mediate the issues between the crews having and hope we can find some good resolution. So that's coming up in a little bit. I hope so. Yeah, me too, me too. Um, A.B., after a full hour of yakking and drinking milk, yet again, this is the photo you don't like, right, Evie? Yep. I didn't even know my eyes could go in separate directions like that. It, was... it doesn't look like you're crying. One of my eyes looks a little off. Does it? Yeah, but I, I kinda, guess I see it. I didn't realize. I, I kind of get pulled to my buck teeth there, actually. It's kind of, I'm not sure if I should look at the eye going the wrong direction or my teeth, but. But you don't have buck teeth. I'm, I question it now. I don't know. I think it's funny how you see yourself and you see this cataclysmic picture. I don't think anyone even like. It's just funny. It's just a photo. Yeah, it's just a funny picture of you. It's not like, you know, you're not. It doesn't change how you look, right? That photo made me realize that you're fucking ugly as shit. You know when I that look in the mirror, like, when I look in the mirror, I see this photo now. Oh wow, yeah. it scarred him. <laughs> Man. Ethan calling Zach the penguin while he actually looks like him in Uncle Fester costume. Okay, that's fair enough. Zach, what do you think about that? Um, I'm gonna take it up with HR later. So. <laughs> that's true. And by the way, I would happily take on the role of penguin. Like, I mean, I consider that a high honor. Hmm. Certainly got the physique. This is uncanny. AB's favorite photo again. I do see the resemblance. <laughs> Monday versus Friday. It's all AB. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> Ian from the latest episode. That's very good. Was it hard for you to switch with your head down, Ian, or was that all just muscle memory? It's it's fine. I know where all the buttons are. Yeah. Impressive, though, nonetheless. Cameron <laughs> really got hit. I love it. this cat. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. And then, of course, Ian got hit with the same meme. <laughs> Sheesh. It's not that bad, Lena. <laughs> Unfazed. The queen of the chip challenge. That's not bad, huh? I always kind of had um, a cute kitty like Cam and Ian's, but that works too. I mean, you didn't, you never even <laughs> expressed enough pain. <laughs> we have another chip, Lena, if you're wanting to ever prove your metal again. Maybe next time. Maybe if somebody beats mine, then I'll, I'll oh, go again. Oh, that's a call out. Interesting. Love that. Interesting. Love that. Before and after. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Zach, basically no reaction. <laughs> no, he Zach, looks, he I looks just, pained there. Zach's basically fine. I, w I rewatched yesterday's episode, and then I was checking in on Zach during my suffering time the whole time. I was like, Zach, you okay? You I know. That's, what I, that's why I was laughing about it yeah, at the time, because you ate the whole damn chip, and everyone's concerned about Zach. Well, pe 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 people us. think I'm being such a fu Okay, I didn't eat the chip. My throat started to close up. Yeah, so that is concerning. At that time, so I'm glad you're doing okay now. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> no, I, I get it. No, no, I get it. No, it's concerning. <laughs> you didn't, but you, your throat didn't close, right? I thought it was. I couldn't breathe right, for a right, second. Right, right, right. Yeah, but you, but you, it didn't, right? No, I, I don't know. Okay, but no, we were all worried about you. Ian disappeared. <laughs> Lena unfazed. <Yeah. laughs> In the scorpion chair. Wow, this is interesting. What do you think about this, Ian? Weeping woman Rembrandt. 
powerful. He's a work of art. Huh. Thank you. And then, <laughs> fucking this, okay, this Peter one, Pettigrew. This one you're not gonna like, AB. No. It's like the troll, guy, but the resemblance is actually like super, super on point. Thank you, Dark he... As a Harry Potter fan, I'm doubly offended. He's a rat, right? He could transform into a yes. rat. Yes. For, okay, Thank you, sure. Dark Lord. Sure. I see it, though. He's the yassified version. He's the handsome one. <laughs> right. Thank you, Cam. A yassified <laughs> rat. Do you see it? This is the meme, Zach, saying they don't even know I dip my toes. <laughs> Baby looking like he's about to take out Frieza. You know, when I rewatched the episode, I realized I said contemplated instead of contemplated. 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 Yep. Okay. Was I mean, yeah, I agree, man. If you want to cast me in the Penguin, I'm here for it. You know what I mean? I fully accept the role. I mean, uh, Batman is available? Usually. Dude, I fucking love to play Penguin in that shit. Oh. Didn't they? They had a... Um, Colin Farrell played Penguin. Yeah. But he didn't really take on the role. He was just a gangster with his nickname was Penguin. I want to be Danny DeVito in the sewer, fucking umbrella gun, ha Penguin. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Yeah. Dude. Thank you. Thoracic pains are definitely a Penguin branded. Penguin brain. Oh, brain, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Pepto Bismol now with AV's face on it. There you have it. This, this, this was good too. AV, this they said <laughs> this, this is what you looked like after the chip. I look, you've been taxidermied. <laughs> is that what that is? A taxidermy fox? Yeah. What? Why would they desecrate this animal like that? I don't. What I the don't fuck? Know. What did they do to this poor creature? Murder animals. Right. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. So it was a really fun episode. I, I had a lot of fun. I'm glad. Uh, it seems like everyone enjoyed it. I saw this video, and I'm just saying yeah. it, it could have been a lot worse. This just showed up on one of our feeds. Check this out. Yeah, that's me. Don't touch that. Yeah, she went to the hospital. <laughs> oh, shit. I got a tweet right before the show yesterday of a, another girl who ended up in the hospital as well. She tagged all of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I want to. I saw some people doing it. There was a dude who did it on the subreddit. Great video, but don't do this, especially if you're not good or experienced with spicy. It's it's really really bad. Yeah, I'm just surprised that you can buy that on Amazon. It just seems incredibly dangerous. Yeah, in my opinion, do not do this. Do not do that at home. What's up, Tater Tots? We love you. Come on over to the channel. I'll be your daddy. I'll teach you guys everything. Top G. No! Uh, uh, can we explain what you're doing for people at home? Yeah, I'm just talking to TikTok live feed because it's full of Tater Tots. Fuck yes. I, I, this is my outreach program. Tater Tots, come join. Listen. I know, HL3, but l let's talk. Suck a little bit of dick. Let's just suck a little bit of dick. <laughs> so, okay. Um... Now, at this moment, I would like to commemorate 9-11 also that happened. Uh, was that, that was, when was that? Uh, Sunday. Yeah. yeah, we never get, we never observed. Yeah, we should have said something on Monday. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 9-11, it happened. We didn't, I haven't forgotten. Have you guys? You know, I had forgotten, but thankfully people made posts on social media Reminding me to never forget and that reminded me and now but you already back bro. You already violated it by forgetting It doesn't I know. matter well, if you I had never made later. the declaration personally that? to never forget you But didn't? I'm glad that other people have not forgotten no, on my behalf so that they can then remind me so that I can go back to remembering That tragic day. Well Basically, this is my favorite call to remembering 9-11 which Dan forgot being a horrible American yep. no. I could never forget where I was on that day. That's right. Of course, it comes from none other this is a than the true patriot himself, Liver King, who's at the 9-11 Memorial uh, Ground Zero Museum in New York, which, by the way, is a beautiful, a beautiful piece of art. I don't know if you guys have been there. It's really a powerful, beautiful place. I have not. Oh, you haven't been there? It's really... No. It is good. It's That's maybe why I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys should check it out if you're in New York, but... 
or if you're VR, they have it in VR and it's wild. You say what? Yeah, there's 9 11 Memorial in VR. Yeah, it, you went. I, I checked it out. Yes. Yeah, oh, maybe we should go to uh, when we do the you tomorrow. Like, you can like look up and see. <laughs> that how seems like still. a horrible idea. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> should we like visit the 9 11 Memorial Absolutely tomorrow? Absolutely, we should. It was like an interactive documentary, the thing I was watching. But actually, in the metaverse, there was like a 9 11 Memorial. Some guy was pretending to um, pleasure himself next to it. It was really fucked up. Yeah, I'm sure nothing bad will happen of that. Yeah. 9 11 never happened in the metaverse. Mm. That's all I know. Can we yeah. that? Can we do? Can we reenact that? I mean, there's probably playing <laughs> simulator games out there. <laughs> you want to LARP yeah. it? Let's do that. Let's visit 9 11 Memorial tomorrow. Okay. In the metaverse. All right. <laughs> it's actually right next to the Queens Memorial. I'm not even kidding. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my God, I got the double header. Yeah. Two. Two. Hey, double respect. Yep. Two of the most tragic things to ever to ever happen to me. <laughs> well, hold on. The 9-11 is tragic. The queen dying. I mean, God fucking, I mean, you know, rest in peace. The good always die young, but 9-11 no, serious this, business. This is yeah. Britain's, this is Britain's 9-11. 9-11. All right. So here's, and by the way, the point I'm trying to make is when you go to this memorial, it's very serious. It's very somber. It seems to me like it would be a good place, time and place to wear a shirt is all. <laughs> nope. I mean, you might as well go to like the Holocaust Museum shirtless. I mean, you know, Gray sweatpants, a little no bit. Shirt. That's the way to go. Just a little bit more formal. Um, just a shirt. You know. But anyway, here's Liver King. This is a solemn place, an American place. The ultimate subprimal act was committed right here. Yes. Yeah, so. Also, he can, he refers to the 9-11 terrorists as a subprimal act. Love that. Which which is funny because he always says stuff is subprimal. So I think eating broccoli, he holds in the same reverence, the What's same up, contempt King? as hijacking a plane. Well, it's in the same category, but he does specify that this is the ultimate subprimal act. So that there clearly must be degrees of subprimalness. If this on the scale the of subprimal, you have eating broccoli and cr and then crashing these, a plane are, into a building. These are the extreme ends. I don't get that. I mean, subprimals don't. Okay, I just the whole Venn diagram of subprimal primal is just. What's up, Larry? Right King? now, we stand as a family. We're gonna honor a moment of silence for those that went before us. Never King, out. God, it must be so embarrassing to be this guy to be your dad. I mean, he's like a sideshow, dude. Like in New York City, he's one of these guys mm -hmm. that you see in like American flag speedo, like one of these characters. I mean, the man is a sideshow. Peace out. He's at the 9 11 memorial shirtless and fucking gray shirt. Paying his respect. What is happening? He gave us a, a GP out. Liver King out. Liver King out. Peace out. Yeah, but it did remind me. I was like, oh shit, you're right, Dana. You know, it's 9 11. This man has ab implants, I've heard. How fucking dare you? I know, I'm sorry. Bro. What the fuck? What a subprimal statement. Of yeah. I know, I'm sorry. I mean, that's just. I hope the Tater Tots heard that. Yeah, TikTok Shark won't Tater be Tots. About that. I, what do you guys think? Oh, let me see. Tater Tots on TikTok. You guys think. Well, he says he's natural, okay? Yeah. I mean, clearly. Fuck yes. Tater Talks, clearly um, do you guys think that uh, Liver King is natural? So you have to try to include them in the conversation. I'm the one getting plowed. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, shout out Liver King. Um, more like Fatty Liver, Fatty Liver King. His liver is probably close to fucking failure with his diet. Liver Why fat. are you talking all this shit? We're trying to get this guy on the show. Nah, it's not happening. He's subprimal. Whoa. Plow. He's subprimal. Sorry. Is anybody. What are you doing? I don't want him on the show anymore. He's a, he turned into like a weird grifter for like supplements and shit. I mean, he's like, Alex, he's like, yo, check out my fucking beast liver mix. I put it in rat poison asbestos and it, ground up uh, liver heart. It clearly works. I mean, look at the man. Mm hmm. Of Liver King. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but it was a 
a solemn day in 2014, a Paris Hilton sex tape dropped a night in Paris. And we just realized this from this post. Did you guys know that the, that the Paris Hilton porn tape started with a 9-11 memorial? This is, I swear to God, this is real. Yes, yeah, fact check this. Mm-hmm. I, ah! I owe Olivia a public apology. Thank She's you. the one that let me know about this. Thank she you. She brought it up the other day, and I straight up was like, you got trolled. Mm-mm. That's not real. That's somebody memeing on Twitter. No. Looked it up. She was 100% right. It opens with the Bro. fucking 9-11 memorial. Yep. And people this... were just like, yes. Yeah, nobody even talked about it no. until like the 9-11 fog kind of settled. <laughs> I they were like, like absolutely. We were ah. insane back then. Paris Hilton ah. dropped their porn tape with "In Memory of 9/11." We will never forget. What are you talking about? <laughs> Remember ah. the fallen before you bust one out ah. is what they were saying. Ah. Obviously. Yeah. Holy shit, dude! You gotta do it. I don't think you could. I don't think you could debut anything without being like in the memory of 9/11 for like five years afterwards. Yeah, no, that was in- even a porn. It was an insane time in this country. A couple years after uh, 9/11. I think more people remember that sex tape than 9-11 at this point. Never forget. Ah. No. Yeah, night in Paris. Uh. Never forget. Ah. We love it, folks. Shout out to Paris Hilton. A true patriot. Okay, after this we have a special uh, presentation. We recently celebrated a couple of anniversaries. AB and Lena came came to California. Oh, she's gone. I guess I can wait for her to come back. That's Lena. She's working. Yeah, I know. Well, we can wait. But yeah, when she comes back, we they came to us with nothing. With nothing but the shirts on their back there from Detroit. Nothing. That's right. They he were came trash, with not, knives in his people. side, his clothing in tatters. His car barely running. He was a mess. He was subprimal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he was so subprimal, he was close to flying an airplane into a building. But I swooped down and I said, Lena and AB, you guys are better than this. I see your true potential. I, Ethan Klein, your Lord and Savior, the most gracious human being alive. I dipped down into the bowels of Detroit, worst city in the maybe the world. Well, in the world probably, huh? Nah. <laughs> Terrible city. <laughs> Just awful I took city. the knife out of AB's side. <laughs> I sh- I shook the dirt out of Lena's hair. He kissed his old nasty. And I said, "Come, neck. come, come to the golden side where the grass is greener." And that was a uh, three two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago, and, you, and they haven't looked back, and they just they thank me every time I see them, and they're just so grateful for me. You're making a joke, but you really did. It was a time in my life where I was very afraid. I felt like a loser, and uh, you changed both of our lives. You did save our lives. You Wait, what were you afraid of, just Ian? What I was doing with my life. I mean, my parents wanted me to do medicine. I was getting older. I hated it. I hated what I was doing. I hated my nine to five, and whenever I had time, I'd make YouTube videos. And, uh, what yeah. are you afraid of? It wasn't going anywhere, but you saved me. God bless. You're like, know, you're, you're like my Jack Dawson. I know, man. I Someone know, I saved do. me. Uh, Lena, I was just talking about how I saved your life. If you want to add anything to that, she can't. Yeah. Yeah. Who saved my life? Yeah, it was me two <laughs> oh. years ago. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You did. I can agree. Yep. What was your day job, baby? Uh, I was at my uncle's medical office. Sort of running like oh. the day to day things, nine to five. Bullshit. That's interesting. I fucking hated it. How was the pay? Bad. Mm. Yeah, it was bad. And then, and then Lena, what was your day job two years ago? I managed chiropractic clinics. Oh, you were in the ba- the enemy's <laughs> den. I think we talked about that. Yes. Yeah. So you know, two years ago today, I said, "Come, let me save you, my children." Actually, not with. Uh, the, w- dropping the shtick, these two guys are some of the greatest employees you could ever wish for. They're both super smart, hardworking, taking the initiative. I feel so lucky and honored that they're both here working uh, with us. It's like uh, 
You couldn't ask for better people. And so I say, fuck you to your uncle's medical place. And I say, fuck you to your uncle's chiropractor, uh, whatever. Fuck you. I say, you should have paid him more. You blew it. Now they come out. Now they're over here. I mean, honestly, we would have moved for any like big YouTube channel just because we've always wanted to be involved. But to be what? Hired, but to be hired what? by our Wait, favorite bro, channel. Wait, what the fuck? To be hired by our favorite channel is more than we could have ever why would you say that you ruined this moment i'm not ruining i'm saying it was a dream come true it was something i couldn't even imagine lena do you back do you support what do you think you, you come for any youtube channel i don't know because i never had the idea in mind that we would even move out here to work for a youtube channel but just the fact that that first offer and it was our favorite youtubers was just amazing mm. Mm, maybe linus tech Looking for a, a new computer guy, AB. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. I'm glad you're here. Enough with the shtick. We have we have gifts for you guys. Let's start with uh, who are we starting with. Lena's Lena, wonderful Lena. We trust her. She sp she's she spends time with our kids. We're blindfolded, and then open your mouth and just uh, chew. And uh, it's another, ch just another chip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Lena, we trust her with our children. I mean, the kids love her. She is the most trustworthy, the sweetest, the kindest, the hardworking person. Thanks so much. I love you guys, too. So, thank you. And with so the utmost appreciation, we present to Lena. Keep the blindfold on. It's coming out. Bye. No peeking. Did you know about this, baby? Yes. Do you know about yours? No. Okay. Okay, a or okay, Lena, are we ready? Wow. Can I open my eyes? Wait, not yet, not yet. Just oh, not yet, not yet. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. That's good. Okay, you guys ready? Lena, you can take off your blindfold now. We honor Lena with her very I'm own so, background. I'm so happy. Yeah, of course. Cam got his own background recently, and Lena. Oh my gosh! Thank you, know. you guys so much. And Sam, this is a, a work of art. Thank you so much. I am honored. I love this so much. Thank you guys. Oh my god! It's beautiful. Well, it's our pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. It's the least we could do, for Christ's sake. Maybe we we need an extra. Can you show Lena? There's a bit of a like shadow behind her. I wonder if we could get an extra light there to to blow out the shadow. It's not urgent. Just a note. So there you have it, Lena. Wow, what a what a treat, what a treasure. <laughs> and moving on to dear dear Ab. Where would we be without Ab? Thank you, guys. He'd work for any YouTuber, but luckily it's it was not me. what I meant. It was me. Maybe that hopefully out. by four years you'll understand me. But luckily it was me. Two years of AB. He's a great guy, a hard worker, one of the greatest, a treasure, a treat, a legend. Go ahead, open your uh, your present there. Oh, oh, it's two things. Okay, hold on. First thing. It is a Bulls jersey. Oh, this is Star Killer. Thank that, you, guys. That's Michael Jordan's number, right? Yes, I'm a huge. It's, your, no, 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 it's not Michael. So Jordan's okay, number. I know nothing about sports, and for some reason, I didn't compute that what makes it a Jordan jersey is his number. Okay. Not the right. fact that it's Bulls, but right. the number. Because there's more players on the Bulls. Well, I, I, right? yes, right. Not just one. That is true. I did do some research though, and I found that on AB's channel, the first video I saw it was in 2018. Oh. So that's so what that is? there is a significance to okay, it. Okay, okay. So that's why I picked that number. Oh, that's is there a sweet. Bulls 18? Who has number 18 on the Bulls? Uh, I don't know. Me, now. I don't know. Evidently, there wasn't at the time, so it's not like some other random. Well, there you have it. That's um, very Star sweet. Killer. Thank you. Very interesting. <laughs> but yeah, AB's a huge Michael Jordan fan. Apparently, you've watched the documentary like 20 times. If it wasn't for the documentary, I would never got the job. 20 I was, times. I was watching. Yeah. No, no, no. Is Wait. that right? How do you figure? Because 
I was watching it the night before I sent you what ultimately got me hired. And I remember telling Lena at like 4 a.m. that, man, I feel like I really should have sent Ethan that. And I was thinking, I was just motivated because that documentary, and I did it the next day at work, and then you offered me the job. So Wait, wait, you, you sent me what? I sent you some research that you were oh, impressed oh, with. Oh, yeah. okay, Money. okay. Mm -hmm. Just like Jordan, man. Just just like Jordan. This is you, Bison Della. He was number 18 on the Bulls in 1997. Bison. So That's your boy. Shout out, Bison. Bison. This is very cool. My first YouTube video was 2015, but those are privated, but this is, this is where it really began. This is when I made the video defending Ethan that got me the job, so it does have significance. Woo, woo, well, woo, what woo, I woo, saw woo. was 2018. No, 18 makes sense. That's when I made the video defending Ethan. So. Wang. And also, and your favorite player, Bison. Yeah, Bison. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, isn't that right? Uh, was that Michael Jordan? Greg. That, that Abraham Lincoln. Scott. That was Michael Wayne Scott. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. Scott. Michael Scott. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, was yeah. that Michael Scott or Abraham Lincoln? It was both at the same time, actually. And yeah. then there's one more gift in there for you, Abby. So it's it's the last dance on the front, and on the back, it's Twilight. <laughs> Whoa, it's That's, a double header. I mean, this is you will never find a shirt like right, that where those two the... those two interests coming together. I love it. Thank you guys. This may be the rarest shirt of all time. So. That's Thank def you. yeah. That's I one love of it. Guys. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, everyone. So Poor just God. let the world know, you know. But there it is, AB and Lena. Thank you guys. Wow. Thanks so much. Such a pleasure. Thank you guys. I'm glad you're here into another, not just 20, or not just two, 20 years to go. Wow. Yes. Of course, assuming that, like, another bigger YouTuber doesn't offer you a job. Not what I meant. Casey Neistat just moved back to New York. Bro, you been looking you for apartments for in Casey. Manhattan just at all? Or you've been scouting that? Not there? even for Casey. He's like, yo, he, he was like, yo, AB, I need you to boost and board around with me all day and film me. <laughs> Oh, then maybe. Make sick vlogs together. Bro, I want to make sick vlogs and boosted board with you, homie. Slice of life. New York living, dog. I want you to come jogging with me every morning. <laughs> <laughs> you got me the Casey shout out for my one year, so that was really cool. Yeah, you're welcome. True. Thank you, thank you. Thank I you. can move mountains for you, buddy. I appreciate it. And yes. thank you to all the fans as well who have changed both our lives. We appreciate it. All right. Okay, so that's fun. Um, I really have to pee. I don't know why. It's like, I started slamming these fiber supplement in the morning, but it's like a lot of liquid. And fiber I, supplement? So you have to it, pee out of your asshole? No, 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 no. It's How just a lot of liquid. Right now? Oh. Maybe it's the game subs going through you. Maybe uh, we have to do our ad. Trash Maybe. Can down here. I don't know. Either let's do that first, and then you can go pee, or vice versa. Oh, shit. Okay, let me just go pee real fast. Okay. Um, while I go pee, just to keep the show running. Um, you guys can show the new Jimmy Lee meme and the Pokey mentioning love on stream if someone wants to take the reins on that. Sure. The new Jimmy Lee meme. <sighs> yeah. It's an old-timey joke. <laughs> it's an old-timey <laughs> joke where we threaten to uh, to kill oh. the crew members of the H3 podcast. Classic. Who was it? It was you, A.B., right? That he, yeah. Yeah, he that said kill, kill, star killer? kill star killer. Yeah. Uh, so Ian died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. Anyways, who cares? Merch in the bio. And his head is long and pixelated. I'm like fucking this Pony Conehead. Stinks. You suck. He's gonna text Zach and I immediately as soon as that goes through. Well, funny enough, he, he texted me like two minutes ago. Sending me the meme. Oh, actually, he sent it to me. He sent it to me. Too. <laughs> I told him, I told him, he's all, this is funny. I'm like, no, too far. Yeah, I guess he's not saying that he's going to kill Ian. He's just saying that Ian is Wait. is dead. Oh, he sent me one where <laughs> AB is killing him, actually. Oh, Ian, I wish you the nice. best. Hmm. I mean, and now Balmoral, people are going to think it's me. People are going to think this is me. Balmoral's a pretty high honor, right? Somebody just donated, said Bison uh, Dell. Is it Dell or Delhi? Bison Dell was murdered at sea. I know, Protect I'm reading AB about that. at all costs. I'm reading about that on Wikipedia. It's crazy. What the fuck? Well, stay off, stay <laughs> off the boat, AB. You have the guy with 18 as his number. Yeah, he That's was me. murdered at sea. Oh my god. I know. I told Lena in 2018, if I don't get to 100k by 2019, I'm gonna quit YouTube, and I pretty much did. And then <laughs> Ethan found the video years later. So, don't give up, kids. Don't give up.
And don't get on a boat anytime soon. Yeah, stay off, yeah. stay off of boats. Land bound. Stay off of boats. I'll stay in them. Sam, did you sew two shirts together? <laughs> I did. I thought you just had this <laughs> made. So the two yeah. fronts or two backs? It's two, two fronts. Interesting. And uh, they're both the same size. Uh -huh. But one of them is like definitely a little smaller than the other one, <laughs> so I had to. Uh, I made it work. Made it work. I like the Twilight movies. Did you guys enjoy this Jimmy Lee meme? I I posted. I said this meme stinks. You suck. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. Fucking rocked it. Ian ass. died peacefully at Belmoral this afternoon, like the Queen. Anyway, who cares? <laughs> Merchant Bio Savage, bro. Jimmy, are you reading this stuff? You see the one you just sent me? I dropped it in our Discord. Uh, let's see. Dude. This doesn't have a personal info, does it? No. AB is going after the Jersey Outlaw. There is just no camel, Jimmy. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck am I looking there at? There is no- give this to AB. <laughs> We're just having a good time. Wait, 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 wait. AB is going after the Jersey- can you zoom in on that? This was an edit cam, and not this edit, but initially there was a cam edit of me driving. Yeah, when we went to the moon together. Yes. That's insanely good. The back of you and then the bongo in the rear view. I mean, yeah. like, whoever's making these is fucking awesome. The love and the dashboard there, too. Is Dude, <laughs> this whoever's doing this should make memes for us. Like, I want to post these to our socials. Yeah, reach out. It would, it would steal all people. You guys gotta start posting memes on the sub again. It's a lot of known memes. I've been looking for memes to post. Mm. Yeah, I'm just putting that out there. This Credit content is so freaking good. Stop your what your talents are wasted on Jimmy. Come to us. <laughs> yeah, I, this would kill on on our network. There it is. Uh, Ivan Martinez just donated twenty dollars and said, "I want to get a portrait tat of Ethan. What pick though?" <laughs> I have one of mine. My gamer sub's going on me. Uh, I don't know. I don't, know. don't get my face stop, on stop, it. Stop, stop, stop. No need for all that. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Okay, so did you guys show the pokey thing? Uh, no, we hadn't gotten to that. Working through the top of the show. Love, you're going to love this. Yes, sir. Uh, our friend of the show, wonderful uh, Pokemon, or Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Which one? That you have framed so nicely in this very beautiful back background. Which one? Of, of this random person. Is that Bitch, you? He's not random. random. Thank you. You think that's me? She but thought it was... I don't know. It could be like... You me. think this was, is me? I thought it was you with makeup on. Like, I make makeup. <laughs> oh, with like a mustache? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is it? His so, name is Love. Isn't that a cool name? Love? Yeah. No. It's Louvre. Someone didn't watch the H3 podcast, so if you want to know the context, you're going to have to watch. What the hecking dog? Real ones only. Wokey, wokey, yeah. wokey, wokey, wokey. Pokey's a legend, dude. She is. She is. We got to have her back on. Such yeah. good vibes. Such a W. Real fun up. And congratulations. I'm not a random guy. Yay. That's right. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Hell no. She got a picture of you in her background, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. You I'm... Actually, I actually, yeah, every time I watch her stream now, oh, I, I see it in the back there and I'm so Dude, sorry. he's fucking in, dude. What? Stop. Uh, that, is just, that is just, that is just inappropriate. Yeah, don't joke. We're like good that. friends. She's a friend of the show. We're good friends. Yeah. yeah. I don't think Dan was serious. I think he's just joking. I know, but like, we can't joke Dan. like that. Dan, don't ever joke on comedic podcasts, please. Well, I was also joking, <laughs> roasting. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you know, we have a we have a woman come on, and then we got a joke that he, that you know. I guess it's not because he's having a big joke out of it. <laughs> you know, it's like you just said he's in. Oh, I thought you said he's hitting it. No. Oh, come on. Oh, that's would that would be I, that's that, okay. That's what I that's what I thought I heard. I said I you're like, in, on. bro. Come on, that's just a too much, Dan. You're that in. That's just inappropriate. Turn it back. Absolutely she gross. She gets way too much attention like that. She doesn't need that from you, Dan. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, moving on. This Friday, we have a special guest. You guys are not going to believe this. So what's the biggest one you've ever You guys will not believe this. I saw this clip. Oh, wait, we're. we're 
Okay, let's do this. We're, we're supposed to do our ad. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let, let me do the ad then. Okay. I have a huge announcement about Howie Mandel. You guys are going to love this. But let me just thank our two sponsors today who we love so well, starting with Honey. Let's freaking go. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easiest way to save when you're shopping on your iPhone or your computer. We all shop online. Hila is a serial shopper. That woman cannot stop spending money. You know what they say. What? About women. Women be shopping. Women That's be right. shopping, baby. <laughs> What's the origin of that? I, I don't even that. know. It's very funny. Women be shopping. You hear that tater tots watching on TikTok? Women be shopping. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, she be shopping, but... She also be saving. You That's know what right. I mean? uh, Honey is just a miracle. You you install it. It runs seamlessly in the background. As soon as you get to the checkout, it automatically looks for the best coupon code on the internet and applies it. It's like no catch, no brainer, just free money, man. Uh, thanks to uh, thanks to Honey. Manual searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey's the free shopping tool. I already said that. Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites, and when you check out, the Honey button appears, and all you have to do is click Apply Coupon. Boom, bada bing, it searches, it finds, it automatically applies. You watch the price drop magically. We've got it from Shoe Store. Check this out. This came from a Fupa Trooper just oh. the other day. They emailed it to me. Oh, that's nice. Freaking Shoes for Cruise. Anybody who's worked in a restaurant probably remembers this company. Save 10 bucks. Off the workshop. That's what I'm saying. Let's it's go. So sick. So easy. It's like free money. And we've got it on like Postmates. We've got it on like furniture, electronics. Mm -hmm. It works all over the internet, man. Honey doesn't just work on desktop now, it also works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you're going to be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show, which we love. Thank you so much. I use Honey, and I love Honey. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3. That's joinhoney.com slash h3. Thank you. Thank you for peace and love. Women be shopping is a catchphrase from the 1996 film The Nutty Professor? Said by comedian Dave Chappelle as an insult comic? Oh, Reggie. What? <laughs> I, that what? seems like such a modern idiom. Women be shopping. That's from the I gotta, nutty professor. Hold on, can you pull up a clip of that? I I, I know I don't want to risk copyright. If it's just fast enough and Dave small Chappelle enough, I gotta see that. You know he's got like the the weird hair going on. You know, he's women like, be shopping, and then Eddie Murphy kicks his ass in like a comedic way. Wow. That is, that's so huh. weird. That is weird. I guess it's meant to be not funny then, but now I mean, it's it is very funny. funny. It's Well, it's funny because it's so dumb and yeah. ironic. Like, yeah. Kevin also says it in the office at one point. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Because it fits perfectly into that post-ironic meme. Memeing. Yeah. yeah. It's, wow. Damn, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Women be shopping, ladies and gentlemen. Also, uh, quickly, a thank you to our final sponsor here today, Stamps.com. If you're a small business owner, you know how important it is to be ready for the insane holiday season, and it's sneaking right up on us. If you haven't started preparing for the chaos of holiday mailing and shipping, you're already falling behind. Luckily, Stamps.com has everything you need to make your life a whole lot easier. It's 24-7 post office that you can access from anywhere. No lines, no traffic, no hassle. Stamps.com is insanely good. If you are using the mail in any capacity, you need to be using Stamps.com because Dan's uh, girlfriend, Ali, uses it. We talk about it all the time. Mm. They send you a scale. You weigh the package. It's an envelope, a big package, whatever it is. You automatically print the postage, which is heavily discounted, by the way, through Stamps.com. I'm That's talking... Right. I'm talking up to 86% off UPS and USPS discounts too. You you weigh it, print the postage, boom, and then they're gonna come get it from your house, dude. Or you just put it in your mailbox. It's like unbelievable. You don't even have to the think about it. The future is here. Dude. It's cheaper. 
<laughs> it's more sure. convenient. It's here. And you don't even have to think about it. That's right. We're no, we don't, we don't ride ponies anymore like Paul Revere, okay? We got the future now. The pony days are over! Pony Express, anyone? You remember that shit? From yeah, that, history? that wasn't Paul Revere. No, I know, but... He rode a horse. Full-size Why'd they call it Pony Express, though? They, that's a totally different thing. That, I know, that was like... Yeah. Early, I know a pony... But they didn't ride ponies, anyway. They I think they may have ridden ponies. They may, they Man, may nobody's have trekking... Home. Nobody's doing long-distance trips on ponies, are they? Pony Express. You know? A pony is like, uh... Hey, I'm just having a little trot. The Pony Express was an American Express mail service that used relays <laughs> of horse-mounted riders. Yeah. Why do they no call one. it the Horse Express? So, like, American Express credit card. No. It was the Pony Express. It was very important, by the way. I learned all about it in AP history. Yeah. In American history. Predates the, the, the American uh, post office. Shout out, Pony Express. Yeah. Yeah, but stamps.com is way cooler than that shit. Uh, for more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over a billion, a million, a billion, no, a million businesses. Get access to the USPS and UPS services right from your home. With inflation, every dollar counts. You need these discounts. Major discounts off USPS and 86% off UPS. Boom, boom, boom. It's insane. It's wonderful, guys. And we have a great promotion for you here today. Get ahead of the holiday chaos this year. Get started with Stamps.com. Today, sign up with promo code H3 for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. There's no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code H3. Thank you. Thank you to Stamps. Yes, baby. Yes, we love Stamps. Yes, we love Stamps. Shout out to all the tater tots who are... There's seven... Dude, this is awesome. There's... People just watching literally to throw tomatoes and type L, but that that's so guys just come watch. You guys are gonna have so much fun. It's a long recess. Will they be back in class by now? No, they're not on recess. They're here to learn. Just I'm telling you, I can be your <laughs> mentor. I can be your alpha male. You know? I could be your hero. I can be your alpha male. Come on, man. I'll teach you how to get laid. That doesn't involve uh, GBS or whatever that drug is called. G G B H G B H or B H B G H B. One of those. Yeah. Okay. Come. Yo, Join. Idra, Idra Elbus just donated fifty dollars. <laughs> oh, thanks, Idra. Idra Elbus. I'm rooting for you, buddy. <laughs> You'll get that James Bond role one day. Sky Bevins, thank you so much for the gifted. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Today's mine and husband's third wedding anniversary. I bought him Tenny Fresh Gear. Thank you, S said. Legendary. S said. Idra Elvis. <laughs> Thank you, Queen. All right, so back to Howie. Now, I have a long, long storied history with Howie Mandel. We went on his podcast now. How long ago was that? Like a month ago? Or? Yeah, long storied history of 60 How days. Howie does stuff. Yeah, and. Yeah, it was about two months ago, I would say. We just blew up that show, man. We cracked the records. We still got to be number one, right? I mean, yeah. we put this podcast on the map. I'm just going to say it. Look at this. We destroyed Bill Maher. Bill Maher, you're... Bro, Bill Maher has literally no chance. And then Jeff Dunham, we put... And Bobby Lee, I mean, he's funny, but come on. He's not, he's not me. Put this podcast on the map. And Howie's been internally in my debt. We're homies. We text all the time. Obviously, you guys know the prolapse thing happened. And I've been trying to get to the bottom of this for a long time. So after this clip, I texted my boy. And I said, come on the show, Howie. We need to do this. There's enough lore. And Howie being the absolute legend he is, he said, this was yesterday, I think. Or Monday. Yeah. yeah. And he said, I'm, I'll come this week. He's coming on Friday, this man. It's happening. This is a busy man. This is Howie Mandel, America's uncle or that, I don't know. He's the, He's got a lot on his plate. America's um, family friend. Yeah, yeah, Ow. exactly. Uh, he does the damn Ow. AGT. He's a busy guy. 
So he had Simon Cowell on the show. Um, how did that one view? How were the views on that one? I want to see if you, people care about Simon. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to say anything. Oh, bro, nobody cares about you, Simon. Eleven thousand views in Cousins. one day. What a fucking loser, bro. I didn't want to say it, but holy shit, nobody cares about you, bro. Damn. That pic they used of him in the thumbnail is uh, that one in the middle. Dude, <laughs> it's the most. I don't want to disparage his <laughs> guest. This I'll wait till afterwards. But yeah, fuck. I don't like Simon Cow, but <laughs> we don't have to talk about that together. But um, yeah, I put this shit on the map. So, oh, <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. So this is the picture they used of Simon Cow, and in fact, that was the best picture they could find. The, he literally looks like a fucking resuscitated cadaver for an open casket funeral. Like, <laughs> bro, they literally, put the makeup on him. They had Joker, to like they had to use tape and some kind of shit to keep his eyes open. You know. <laughs> Like this, he his body is being held together by tape and fucking twigs. Oh my god! It looks like each hair on his beard was surgically installed. <laughs> you started this sentence. Let me remind you of. I don't want to disparage his guest before you he comes it on, up. but you pulled it up. I thought I would just let the picture speak for itself. I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't. I, I probably shouldn't say. He's just such a dick. But okay, whatever. We love. Uh, when we I'll be, I'll be, saw this clip and it was sent in our work chat, <laughs> Ethan said he had to close the video because he was so disgusted. <laughs> <by Simon Cowell. laughs> I don't know what, but first of all, I just, I really dislike the guy. <laughs> I've heard really bad things about him. Also, one of the things he did is apparently he fucked his best friends. Bro, we're wife. ruining our chance of Howie coming on right what? now. What? Howie's coming on Friday. Isn't Simon Cowell's boss? Simon's not going to see this. Uh, I was thinking the same thing, Dan. Okay, let me say something nice about Simon. I love his ass on the game shows. He's great. He's entertaining. Okay. You know? I agree with that. <laughs> uh, but he, yeah, he fucked his best friend's wife. And <laughs> yeah, uh, what are we going to do about it, Howie? Uh, what do we do about Howie it? Howie asks. <laughs> Is this the result of COVID? <laughs> If, if so, what are we going to do about it? Simon Cowell, of course, with Bro, the billion dollar the smile. Uh, they, they, of course, Simon Cowell said, hook me up. And the dentist said, uh, do you like piano keys? Or, And he said, hook me up, fam. Does somebody know, keys. is this COVID related? Yeah. Um, thank you, by the way, to Flood Waves. Don't tell Elon, but you guys make my 60-hour work week at Tesla so much better. Yo. I don't know. That's a lot of hours. Yeah, don't tell Elon you're listening to us, man. Yeah. Did he'll, he'll, they'll, you'll have a workplace accident real fast. You know what I mean? <laughs> Those machines are dangerous. Your hand might just get caught in one of them. All right, well, anyway, here's the clip, Howie, uh, that, that, you know, I love Howie Mandel. So what's the biggest one you've ever done? Um, I think on YouTube. Yeah. Ethan Klein. And uh, you're giving the same look. I didn't know Ethan before I'd watched his. He's got probably the number one podcast in the world. And it's called H3. The I'll H3 take that podcast. Shit. And it's kind of, um, it's him and his wife and a bunch of friends. And it's very controversial. His is controversial. And I w that's what I wanted to talk to him about. I mean, about. more or less controversial than posting a prolapsed anus. Probably more. More? Yeah. Okay. I accept that. Why has he got this, like, dear leader, Simon Cowell? This reminds me of, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like Kim Jong-un vibes <laughs> the picture. <laughs> Did you know Simon Cowell hit a hole-in-one on every course on this golf course? <laughs> Do you know Simon Cowell doesn't shit or piss? <laughs> it's incredible. He, he has no sphincter. <laughs> he has no asshole. It Our dear matter. leader. That's how that's how how he sees Simon. He's his dear leader. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, here, let's the H3 podcast. And it's kind of um, it's him and his wife and a bunch of friends. And it's very controversial. Is this controversial? And I would. That's tripping? what I wanted to talk to him about that, because I like you do not want to get canceled. I just realized this is the first episode we've done since this 
interview with Simon Cowell happened, right? Yeah. So what if Simon's watching right now? She's because looking for new talent. On Howie's recommendation. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> here you are, just slamming him. Maybe you need a new judge for AGT. I'm controversial. I got chops. Nah, he's not watching. Please don't send this to Simon Cowell. Ow. I really want to talk to Howie on Friday. Howie's coming. Dude, Howie, me and Howie are dogs. You don't understand. We're like tight. I got to tell you, I'm very sad because I guess we can announce this here today too. Friday will be the first episode of the H3 podcast that I will not be here for. I'm taking the day off to yeah. go to a wedding. Hmm. I and tried I, to tell Dan, <sighs> do not take a day off. That That is just like, you need, if you're not dedicated, bro, <laughs> you're going to take a Friday off. you got to show dedication. Are do you, not. You know what I mean? I cannot wait to drop the ball on that. <laughs> I got you guys. No, you guys are going to be fine. Do you not. Guys are gonna be fine. But I am very sad because I think it's going to be a legendary episode. There's another guest coming on Friday. Can I announce this? Sure. That's cool? Yeah. We finally, finally got a hold of Seaman. And he's going to be calling in on the same day. Howie Crossover. Do we have any game? We got to plan some fun stuff for Seaman, some foot stuff. Maybe we can get, does Howie have a wiki feed? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's basically rights itself, doesn't it? Is there something off about this Simon Cowell picture? No. Howie's got a 4.18 out of 5. And, and is there good, show me. Show me There's the only name. four photos. I but don't they're, know. They're Howie's pretty good. Feet are okay. I don't know. They're, they're okay, I guess. I wanna, so we're going to have Seaman rank Howie's feet. Oh, Howie's going to hate this. <laughs> it's like paparazzi shots. <laughs> <laughs> he's, in, he's in good shape. Yeah, he looks pretty good out there. Guy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Seaman wow. is going to eat his heart out here, man. With the painted toes, I think he said he doesn't like painted toes, if I recall. He likes natural. Because I, Zach's toes were painted or something, and and he was like, eh, I don't no, know. it's okay, you know, it's, it's they're okay. I don't know, they're all right. Yeah, so I'm super excited, you guys. It's gonna be so fun. People think it's gonna be a disaster without Dan. No, you guys, me and Howie are dogs. You guys don't understand. We are tight. He's coming on. I gave him the I gave him the call, and he said I'll be there Friday. Okay. That is incredible. He's with, the man. With no Dan, how long until a prolapse accidentally appears on stream? <laughs> well, that's up to you, Ian. You're the switcher. That's true. You tell me. That's we'll true. see. You are the gatekeeper. Yeah, it's going to be fun, though. So that's a lot to look forward to. Shout out Simon Cowell, who is uh, basically like gazing into the eye of Sauron. <laughs> it's it's what to... I do because he looks like... Yeah, there are bad pictures of Simon Cowell, but that clip on Howie, like, he looked perfectly normal on that one. Howie, you fools! <laughs> That's outrageous. When I see... Oh, my God, bro! <laughs> Did somebody... This man is wearing someone else's skin. This is the fucking dude from Men in Black, the roach. Why is he wearing someone else's oh, skin? so crazy looking. Holy shit. What? The skin is draped off him. I've never seen skin draped. Why does it look like that? Buffalo cow. What? Uh, How old uh, is Simon? Like, he better be 90 or some shit to be looking like this. And then I'll be like, he looks good for his age. No, he's probably in his 50s or 60s. 62. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Stop. That's what, but that, my thing is that the plastic surgery never works. This man. It's not that it never works. It's just it's very noticeable 50. when it doesn't. But he, this guy is rich as hell. He can afford the best of the best. Brian Kavkav. <laughs> my my finger is dripping. Is this my fault or the cup's fault? There's water in the crack. Uh, oh. Where it screws, yeah. How the hell were you able to diagnose that from Sweden? Just Bro, I, He's a I shaker. dream. <laughs> I know. It's just, that like, was incredible. Two lead, <clears throat> like a day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a... Veteran. Yee. Yee. Did I love the TikTok live chat? People are literally just watching the spam L3 L3. You guys are my heroes. <laughs> Come join us on YouTube. You guys are gonna have so much fun. That's the game. I'll teach you things Tate never could. Like how to uh find the clitoris. I don't know. Right. <laughs> I'm a man of God. Instagram the chat says you look like you lost weight. You look good, Ethan. 
Thank you, guys. You know, I've been trying. What a contrast between Instagram and TikTok, yeah. okay? You know, I've been trying really hard. I'm, thank you guys for saying that. I haven't been talking about it a lot, but I've been good. I've been hitting the treadmill. I've been um, really doing good on my dieting, controlling my eating. I've been doing good, so thank you guys. Thank you. What is going on here, Simon? It's like they didn't do a skin lift. It's like they did a skin add. Like they added extra skin. Mm -hmm. They got they they got the procedure wrong. They layered up. <laughs> what the fuck? He's only sixty two. It looks like you know in Face Off when they put on another dude's face. Face off. He put on another man's face. Who do you think he swapped with? Hmm. Ted Bundy? Oh, no. Sorry. All right, let's move on. Uh, Ted Bundy's face is not available. Simon Cowell, I'm done with Botox. I looked like a horror film. Bro. Actually, you know what? I think he looks fine here. Like, he looks normal. Like, he looks like a normal that person. That okay, yeah. I should think he looks good here. So I love that. Oh, Howie, oh no, Howie, we love you, don't. Howie, you're the man. Nothing. Yeah, he looks good in these photos. I think he looks fine. Well, on the right is 10 years ago. It, no, oh, that's, wait, it says that's 2021. Yeah. Oh. One year different. Oh wait, that's a one year different. Look, he looks good in both of them. He looks like a normal person here. Here it's like a nice photo where they airbrush and stuff and touch it up and stuff, but he looks good in both of them. Doesn't look like he's... Melting? Yeah. Um, wow, dude, this is a comprehensive page. Holy shit. Okay. Simon Cowell through the years. Wow. Shout out TMZ. Wow. What the hell? Let's take a look. Let's take this journey together. Beautiful, natural face here, right? What year is this? It's like when American Idol started, so early 2000. Yeah, early 2000. I think you can do Simon through the years and not put the year of the photo. But he looks good. Looks great. This is a cautionary tale, guys. It's just not worth it. Just, you know what I Don't mean? Don't get older. Don't age. Oh, my. What happened between that? What it's happened between scared. his and this? Oh, my God. This is where it goes all wrong. Something went Deeply wrong in that room, operating room. Oh my god. Yeah, oh shit. You looked better, man. Oh my god. Whoa, what the me. fuck? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm not I'm tripping it. I'm genuinely shocked when I see this man's face. Fuck. Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Adona said, look, uh, he looks like Dwight from The Office wearing the CPR doll's mask. <laughs> totally. <laughs> what happened to your eyelids? Ow. You, you leaned eyelids, bro. Oh, the Zac Efron plastic surgery is another tragedy, dude. Some people thought maybe he was just puffy, but it's confirmed. No, it's definitely. He said that he, he, he did break his jaw, um, but... It certainly looks like he has filler. No, he got like cheek filler, yeah. everything. And chin filler. He was one of the most beautiful men, and he just now he looks like he's all cowled up. Well, the thing is, he did an interview a few years ago where people were like, "Oh man, the filler sucks," and then he got it dissolved, and now it's back again. So maybe so it's a pattern. When it dissolves, does he just look like normal again? Yeah. Oh, dissolve that, dude! Please. I think he did. I don't think you can dissolve this, whatever this is. I think the problem is they got here by dissolving his skin. <laughs> All right. What could be worse than this? See, now he looks fine. A little white on the teeth, but otherwise he looks good. Like a normal person. You know what I'm saying? Like you meet this guy, you're like, this is a real person. You see this shit, my kids are going to fucking cry. This guy walks in my house. Theodore is going to run. A bit okay. Uh, you know, this, this he looks pretty good, pretty normal. Yeah, he looks great, man.
Look, you can see his pores. That's normal. People have pores. Simon, you need friend like me, man, to tell you. He looks good here. You need someone like me to tell you you're beautiful the way you are, bro. Simon Cow next guest. Let's ask Cowie if he got to end with Simon. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we could have asked. We yeah. could have asked. Before now this he's segment. our bridge of the they're, day. <laughs> they're literally on an America's Got Talent press tour right now together. <sighs> they are. Yes, that's why. That's why they're doing promo. Okay, well, good. Howie's gonna come promote AGT, number mm -hmm. one show in, in America. Mm -hmm. Well, in a way, he's promoting right now, just not in person. True. Mr. Cowell as well. He looks great here. Simon, you just need a friend like me to tell you, speak the truth. Now, it sounds like a little sideways here, but still okay. Beautiful, man. Dog-faced pony soldier. You don't want to be friends Handsome with Simon. Handsome legend. What? You don't want to be friends with Simon knowing what he does to friends' wives, dude. Oh, shit. I trust Hila, though, but I don't even want to know that he's trying, you know what I mean? Why are you worried about my wife? Best friend's wife got her pregnant, dude. Damn. Um, looks great. Looks great. Looks great. Frankly. So there you go. They kind of did him dirty by putting the most, like, golem photos up front. This man looks like he had the ring for a thousand years. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> this one looks like this mother been living in the fucking trench with the ring. Of power for a thousand years. <laughs> Shit. Dude, this guy had third degree burns and had skin regrafted on his face. But anyway, we love Simon. Maybe I'm being maybe I'm being too hard on the guy. Does have a beautiful hairline. Dear that's right, Maddie. Can't take that away from the man. Got a gorgeous hairline. For sixty two? Yeah. I'm sure it's as real as his teeth. <laughs> I'm growing my hair back, people. Golly. Look at what they wrote here. Well, if age is a song, Simon's now ready to face the music. Whoa. Oh, he says, he says of himself, I probably did have a little too much Botox a couple of years ago because everyone on TV has it. Now I have facials, but nothing too extravagant at the moment. Okay, good for good for you, uh, Simon. Simon's so rich though, because he owns the IP of all these mega. Yeah, X Factor, right? GTA, or AGT. He, he was also a big exec at uh, Sony. I think he discovered the Spice Girls. Is that right? Yeah, uh, El Devo. Well, he was also a huge. Uh, he oh. These shows are in the UK too. He owns all those. Six hundred million. Yeah, this guy's crushing. Yeah, X Factor started in England. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he did. And, and then it came over here too. Discovered One Direction on that show yep. too. So I mean, Fifth Harmony. Do they get a piece of the action? I'm Do they sure, like own One Direction? I he think managed Sony. Them for a sec, didn't he? Yeah, Sony, because he was. I think is or still was ahead at Sony, and I think that's who they signed to. I, I'm sure he gets some piece of it some way. Yeah, people are feeling bad for Simon. I did go a little hard on him. Sometimes I just, you know, because I don't, I just think he's a dick. So sometimes I just go a little bit hard. But ultimately, you know, it's all on the inside what counts, right, guys? And trust me, on the inside, he looks even worse. No, I'm just kidding. But I do, I do want to encourage people to not get plastic surgery. Personally, I think that, you know, you're addressing a symptom of a deeper issue and it actually ends up making you look worse. It's kind of a crazy field. Like, um, they, they make you weird looking. It just doesn't look natural and you pay a bunch of money. Look at this fucking guy. Beautiful face. And then now he looks like damn, uh, now he looks like David Hasselhoff. Handsome Squidworth. The man that was in one, uh, Baywatch and then he wanted to be David Hasselhoff. But, yeah, okay. it's a strange cycle. I think they get one surgery, feel good, think they're going to get the same, and they keep going, and they can't stop. I think sometimes plastic surgery can be good. I have a lot of friends who feel much better 
you know what? More expressive with themselves. That's true. Like, I think when I looked at people like, uh, what's the girl's name? The model, the Jenner, Caitlyn? Bella Hadid? No, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, Caitlyn Jenner. Her plastic surgery was kind of crazy. She, she totally transformed herself. Are you talking about Kylie? Oh, Kylie? Kylie. No, no. Kylie. Okay. Ah, whatever. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm speaking in absolutes. Maybe they just they just go too far with it. But it's a it's a it's a scary road to go down. Mm. I think if you got like a beast monster nose, like cutting that down sometimes is a good thing. Mm. For your I think it's self confidence. Yeah, you know. it's different. It affects people's <laughs> confidence differently. It, it sometimes it forces people to be more critical about themselves, and then they continue to get work done. Sometimes they yeah. fix something that they don't like, and then they feel great. Yeah, that's true. Some some are okay. Maybe my problem is just with filler. Maybe that's my yeah, problem. Yeah, I've never been a fan of. Uh, I feel like some people's lip fillers look awesome, though. Really, yeah. I don't know. Well, maybe maybe that's it. Maybe ba let me back it all up. <laughs> Some people are saying I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me back all of it up. It's rewind My problem time. is fillers. Okay, thank you. Zach had an accident. Yeah, I know he did, but he got filler. Thank you. Fill that bag up. I think you can uh, like both both your and Olivia's arguments can be true at the same time. We shouldn't like promote people to get it and. Uh, yeah, I don't love know. It. I think there's an in between. W love love. All right, thank you, love. <laughs> exactly, we're in between. I don't know. Folks. Yeah, I don't know. We have no stance on this issue. Uh, I'm backing out of it gracefully uh -oh. and slowly. I stepped away for a minute. What happened? <laughs> no, people are just getting mad at me because I'm going too hard on plastic <laughs> surgery. Oh no! Delete me from this conversation. <laughs> What's important is that you're comfortable with yourself. That's yep. all, right? And that you don't end up looking like handsome Squidward. Someone, I mean, there. I think the doctors have an ethical responsibility at one point to be like, "Dude, you're getting too close to looking like handsome Squidward. You got to stop." But they don't do that. They either go, "Sure, blue, just pay me, and I'll fucking bleh, squeeze whatever weird shit you want in your face." All right, let's move on. Thank you. I've said too much. I've pissed off everybody, and Howie's not coming on Friday, and Simon Cowell is suing me. <laughs> no, Howie's coming on Friday. Um, oh, speaking of people hating me, <laughs> this is, um, I've been seeing a few posts like this. So, told my Tinder date that I watch H3, and I'm currently a member. And then I laughed out loud, because the Tinder date, hates me and this is what i'm talking about we need to reach across the aisle to the manosphere and let them know that i can be their daddy and i'm talking to you tater tots all the tater tots watching on TikTok, come join me i'll be daddy as fuck for you bro so uh daddy. she's here's what her tinder date said, I don't fuck with H3 a lot because he likes strongly against working out, which I think is kind of weird. I don't text a lot, but is this normal? Like, I don't think this person needs to worry about working out. I think they maybe need to take a grammar class. <laughs> Just like the cause and the... I don't fuck with H3 a lot because he's like strongly <laughs> against working out. Which I think is kind of weird. I mean, I, I follow it. We, we got I there. know what he's it's saying. It's a little awkwardly Just worded, but. <laughs> but this, this is the kind of stuff, apparently, somehow in the manosphere, this one stupid fucking joke I made about not, that working out is not worth the time, it somehow reached the ends of the earth with every male on TikTok, and now they all hate me. I'm against working out? Motherfucker, what are you talking about? Come on now. I'm daddy as hell. You guys want to exercise together? You want to live stream with me on the treadmill? I'll do it. I'll prove to you. I would need to prove to you guys. Look at me there. Look how big my nipples are, bro. <laughs> Those are alpha nipples if I ever seen them. Fuck yeah. Oh, a... Was there more or was it just this one screenshot? That was it. There was well, an... yeah. There was there... another post that someone deleted with something similar. A girl. Mm -hmm. This poor girl, she posted a conversation with her boyfriend. Delete. 
and I think it blew up way bigger than she expected, and she deleted it in panic because I'm not going to say the name because she posted the screenshot had his name, but it was a really funny name. And everybody was just clowning on her boyfriend, talking about what an <laughs> idiot he is. Delete. And um, oh, he must he must have seen it. But it was this very similar conversation where a girl was like, I like H3, they're funny, whatever. And then the boyfriend's like, I like Joe Rogan. And it's like, there, there's two camps in the world. You know? Yeah, alphas and betas. Mm-hmm. Well, don't forget the sigmas. And the sigmas. Well, and the gamma males. Right. Omega, too. Omega males. Zeta? There's a few camps. Kappa? Did you say sigma? Mu? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we said sigma. Phi? Yeah, and the phi male. Alpha? Sigma. Yeah, so... I <laughs> got him. I genuinely want to... I genuinely want to work on this. I've got to make segments that we can put on TikTok for the alphas to see and be like, he's one of us. Right. Maybe me doing like a Heil Hitler while on a treadmill. No, no. We could we could workshop it. That's pretty bit alpha more. though. Right. Um, and maybe I put, oh, you know what? I could put 20 pound weights and do a Heil Hitler and then alternate. That's pretty sick, dude. That's, uh, that's alpha, dude. We have a member for 25 months. I said, not going to lie, I thought Ethan was serious about not finding purpose and working out. Just saying. Dude, okay. Even if I was, though, is it really, like, that crazy that, like, you have to hate me forever? Because I said Just I... Just saying. But, no, it was a joke, obviously. Well, well, you know, I guess not obviously, but it was a joke. Right, Tater Tots? You guys watching? <laughs> ah. This is my tater tot cam. I have, a, I have a direct line into my haters. It's really great. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. So we're going to work on that. I, I don't know. You guys have any other ideas? Like maybe, um, oh, I could be taking any a Any other ideas bath. but you doing the sick aisle? Ugh. No, that's the most alpha thing about it. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, what is Joe Rogan shit? Like eating elk meat? I can do that. Eat, take some an ice bath. Do yeah, some kicks. nipples hard in the tub. You got you to gotta make a milk out of your own shit. Squeeze that and drink that. That's maybe awful. maybe going into a sauna to the point of like dying of of heat stroke. Oh, you you gotta grot your nipples. That's that. Yeah, I'm working on that. Yeah, I'm currently working on that. Oh, yeah, love. You made this love. This is one out. Yeah. Is this music copyrighted? Don't know. I'll pull it out. I'll pull it out. Yeah, okay, but Love made this, which is a fan cam. We're gonna do mm -hmm. this. Alpha looks like. May not like, May not like it. Okay. okay, but this is peak male alpha right here. Hit them with it. Bro, that's peak performance. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The original song it makes it so good. I don't know. It clicks with the, with yeah, the OG I agree. song. I agree. No, it's really good. Um, so maybe like I could take an ice bath and eat while eating elk meat and raw yolk. I mean, that would that would fly with them. They would like that. You ever heard of the Pacific Crest uh, Trail? Yeah, that's the one that goes from Mexico to Canada. Yeah. You could hike that. You could hike that. I don't see Joe Rogan hiking that shit. Dude, you well, could out alpha him. You could go across the Bering Strait. Right. I'm trying to think of things that I can do either in the office or at my home. Like Napoleon. Can... Kick a punching bag. With yeah, a spinning this is, kick. if I can just post a picture like this. You have a family, Joe. You don't need to do this. But anyway, no, it's not for me to judge. You should really make like working out TikToks. I think that'd be hilarious. Just you giving advice on, on working out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I could master my spinning kick that Joe Rogan loves. He's the one kick wonder. Everyone talks about his mean spin kick. Not going to be a hater. It just seems like he's pushing it. I, I, I'm not who I don't know anything about no, combat a, sports. That's a powerful kick. But look, he pushes it at the end. Watch. He pushes it. That's some Miyagi do. Man, he is known to have one of on the some of the strongest kicks. Man, <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, I think he just practiced this move over and over. <laughs> yeah. But okay, so I'm gonna get a fucking monster roundhouse down. Yeah, get a monster roundhouse. People are uh, throwing out a lot of suggestions in the donations here. 
uh, eat another chip, eat another fire uh, spicy chip. Well, and smoke the, some gars. Yeah, we need some uh, gars. Let's yeah. get, let's get some fucking yeah, gars. Yeah, yeah, up yeah. In Add here. a guard to the situation. Yeah, everything is good. Yeah. Uh, Wait, Ethan, you can just make one of those intros, like this is what an alpha male looks like, and I'll just cut like a bunch of old clips together. I'll, I'll do a new alpha edit. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Um, Chess says you can degrade some women. You can degrade right. women, yeah. This is my wife, Ela. She's a she fucking listened to me. I can't even do his wacky accent. Knock it over my wife. Yeah. All right. Well, that's something coming up. Do an episode, entire episode on the treadmill. That's pretty alpha. Um, God, alpha would be like any of you. Uh, uh, I shouldn't even ask. It's inappropriate. Okay. Then. No, I'm kind of curious. No, 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 no. If you think it's inappropriate. Yeah, it is. So there it is. Um. Someone deep faked the Little Mermaid to be white. Can you fucking believe these psychos? This shit is so crazy. We touched on this yesterday, just how psychotic these people obsessed with Ariel, Ariel being white. Credits to Memer artificial intelligence scientist. He fixed the Little Mermaid and turned the woke actor. She, she's black. That she's, doesn't make her a woke actor, you black freak. Black people are woke, dude. It's like that quartering meme. Oh, you made it political by putting a black. What the fuck? Woke actor. <laughs> you don't know anything about her. Into a ginger white girl. He says he can fix the whole movie when it comes out. Can... It's over for woke cells. Do you understand how fucking lost you are? If you're going to sit down and watch Poor. this whole movie that you probably don't even care about and wouldn't watch otherwise. I knew it. <laughs> I love this. Please note, this is purely educational. Do not interpret this in a racist way. Oh, uh, okay. He used the word fix. What do you mean, do not interpret this in a racist way? <laughs> right, fix. That's a problem. Yeah. Um, interesting. Yeah, so apparently this guy got immediately banned, which is kind of funny. Love that This friend. guy and the one that he tagged that actually <laughs> made it. Uh, we found a backup of the video. I think it's in the doc. Oh, for real? Yeah. All right, here we go. I I present to you the cutting edge of white supremacy science. <laughs> we have a whole basement of sweaty, overweight, neck-bearded white supremacists uh, crunching on supercomputers to bring That's you right. this. That's right. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Yeah, everyone's going to love that, man. <laughs> Bro, just think about what you're doing in life. Just uh, in the drain. It's 2022, and you're spending your time changing someone's color in a movie mm -hmm. to be white. Just, just th think about this. A fish in a movie. She, it's a. She's not even a real person. It's a fish person. Mm -hmm. Fictional character. One of my favorite retorts I saw online was like. Well, you guys didn't have a, a problem with race swapping Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus, of course, Middle Eastern, very dark skin. So, yeah, I love Jesus the Jesus Christ. Um, that's pretty fun, pretty interesting. Let's get on to the uh, trying to work towards the HR segment. Um, here's one more Chet Hanks one, and then we'll do HR. It's just awesome. Chet Hanks, friend of the show, enemy of the show, really. Chet Hanks speaking at Recovery Day in Winnipeg. What is Recovery Day? For, for addicts. Uh, oh, so it's a good thing. He, he's doing a great service there for the people of Winnipeg. Absolutely. For the five people here watching. Well, as we'll see. Changing lives. And you guys got a problem with the word God? <laughs> Raise your hand if you got a problem with the word God. Zero people raising their hand. You got a problem with the word God? Get the fuck over yourself. Oh, it's a family event, by the way. Nobody's raising their hand. Psych! Nobody's got a problem with God. I don't even know what he means by that. Yeah, I got a problem with God. It's awesome. And I mean that with love, brother. 
Do you want to drink fucking knockoff RC Cola or real motherfucking Coke? What? Every step that led me to here on this stage talking to you guys is through the grace of God. Oh, there's, par <laughs> there's parents walking up to the stage to tell them to please stop cursing because they have kids there. Yo, y'all fuck with God or what? Y'all fucking get down with God. Y'all rub dicks with God like me. We dogs like that. Hey, thanks for coming out. What grade are you in, son? <laughs> <laughs> That's Joker brain, Zach. Yeah. If you ain't down with God, you need to fucking leave. <laughs> hey, little, hey, little boy, you go to church on Sunday? Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Take your kids. Watch your fucking mouth. Oh, my God. They said, please watch your mouth. I have kids here. And he says, you watch your fucking mouth. This is for the grace of God. Well, can we get a little grace here? Where's God's grace, man? No way this just happened. Yeah, okay. Take your kids. Watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> Dude, this is such a train wreck. What is this? Celebrating recovery. Did <laughs> What's he recovered from exactly? He's worse than he ever was. His brain on God is not better than his brain on whatever fuck he was with before. <laughs> Say, get him back on. And <laughs> if you don't like God and cigarettes, well, fuck you. This is like belligerent. <laughs> Come on up here, buddy. I don't think you can. What? Yeah. He's trying to fight? Yeah. I think he's trying to <laughs> See, get a kid on stage. I'm used to this shit, you guys. Oh, no, we just Pardon my language for the children, but I speak from the heart and I speak bluntly. Dude, he doesn't want you dropping, he doesn't want you cursing around his kids. Like, he's like, yo, I speak from the heart, and that means drop saying, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm used to attacking these parents in Santa Barbara. <laughs> they ain't shit. Yo, what's up, people of Santa Barbara? There's like, <laughs> low clap, there's only like 10 people there. Dude, Tom Hanks, come get your son. Holy shit. If you don't want your children to be exposed to profanity, then just take them somewhere else right now, respectfully. What? This is a, it's a, <laughs> this is a family-friendly event. The children area was about 50 meters off from the stage. Respectfully. Why well, didn't share that with anybody? I tried to blend in. Dude, he really thinks he's doing something, how he's pacing back and forth. He thinks he's like Tim Robbins right now. This great masterpiece. Yo, if you don't fuck with God, then I'm gonna fuck you and your kids. This is what Pinocchio grows up to be. <laughs> oh, Pinocchio wish he didn't become a real boy now. To revisit and go deeper. <laughs> Pinocchio's like, quit, turn me back into a mannequin. I don't like this. I have anybody, I never advertised that shit. I don't want anybody to know because I just wanted to be treated like everybody else. But I'm telling you now, and if you guys are looking at me right now and you're thinking, oh man, he probably thinks he's so much fucking better than me. Fuck this guy. Like that Bro, that was up chill. Here. The performer before him was a drag queen from Canada's drag race. Nobody's thinking that he think, he's, he thinks he's so people much are thinking you're unhinged, belligerent. Fuck you. He's high. He must be high. Maybe. He's on that chat though now. Seems like he just did a few lines. Maybe he's not high enough. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, dude. Oh, man, he probably thinks he's so much fucking better than me. Fuck this guy. Like that kook that was up here a few seconds ago. Bro, he's insulting the last pr a drag queen. He called him a kook? Why is he there? I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy. So this isn't a bit? Like, this isn't a bit right now? Oh my god. Whoa. See, I didn't watch so this whole video. I just saw the first part. Oh my god. <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again. That's not Tom's son. That's Forrest's son right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you say that. Funny. I'm speaking up louder now. So. That's Forrest. Uh, <laughs> Forrest Jr. That's true. That is Forrest's son. We always wonder what happened to him. Yeah. He was in character when he was conceived. <laughs> Huh? Looking at me right now, and you're thinking, oh man, he probably thinks he's so much fucking better than me. Fuck this guy. Like that kook that was up here a few seconds ago. I love that he goes, you probably think I'm so much better than you. Like this other fucking loser before me that I am so much better than. 
life was like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Jesus. I bet Tom Hanks didn't think this was the chocolate he was going to get from his life. You never know what you're going to get. That's a good metaphor for kids. One chocolate is like his son that looks just like him and is normal. And then one chocolate is Chet. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> That's true words are never spoken, Mr. Hanks. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't care today. I don't care. People if you are think leaving. That about me today, I don't Yo, care. people are leaving. Look at the people are clearing out. This one dude's like, you... I don't care today. I don't care. These girls were huge fans of the drag queen. They walked off after hearing Chet call them kooks. This might be the best meltdown I've ever seen on stage. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This is really incredible. If you think that about me today, I don't care. This guy. It is what it is. Yeah, this is the time. The time is right now. The place is right now. There's nobody left. I don't care. Substance abuse and addiction are serious issues people can suffer with. Recovery is a hard journey and long journey. Helping people before you heal is not only harmful to your own progress, but harmful to the people you're trying to help. Helping people. Sage words. What did they mean? Helping people. Be oh, before you. Heal. Yeah. Yeah. So they're saying he hasn't healed himself. He's not ready to help others. That's right. I think he might actually still be high. So that's probably the first step in being sober. <laughs> Just being sober. Stop, <laughs> stop <laughs> taking yeah. drugs. Yeah. The place is right now. <laughs> I don't care. This is hot talk. If that offends you, I apologize. Oh, that's nice. I thought he was going to say, fuck, fuck you. you. Yeah. Yo, I need this whole thing. This is, I only got two minutes. Uh, can we find this whole performance? Fuck you. I mean, this is really something special going on here. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know if this was really broadcast or anything. It just seems to be somebody recording on their cell phone, but I can see if that account has more videos. Yeah, Chet Hanks, actually. Uh, here's uh, Geppetto, a.k.a. his dad. She built him. This Incredibly rich fucks, opportunity. Who fucks with wishing stars out here? Yeah. It's yeah. a great masterpiece. Pretty interesting. Sure is a masterpiece there. I think Tom needs to st start taking less roles and spending more time with Chet. Just a week ago, they, the whole family had a public dinner at a restaurant, and it looked like Tom Hanks' wife Rita was crying. Really? Yes. Was Chet there? Yeah. How many kids did they have? Two. Just Chet and the normal one. Uh, that at Chet, least that did. Chet is not Rita's uh, son. Right. They have different moms. Right. We. But Rita's crying at dinner. His mom is Jenny. <laughs> exactly. Stop. <laughs> Enough. Um, there is a part two on there. Uh, that That's what I'm saying. I need more. All right. Well, there's I four inject, more minutes for you. Inject this into my fucking veins, bro. Yeah. I need this whole damn thing. And you have dodged. Four more minutes. Oh my god, I'm so lucky to have this. And nobody's seen this. Only has 66 likes. Holy shit. The perilous perilous, treacherous destiny that I was creating for myself every day. I gotta do something. Yo, there is literally nobody there now. Like, they're panning back and forth. There's nobody there. I'll do anything to just not feel like this in this moment. So I did one thing that I knew always made me feel just a little good about myself, which was bust down on the ground and knock out a hundred burpees. I busted down on the ground and knocked out a hundred burpees. Burpees I... fucking for addiction, y'all. Alpha behavior, obviously. That's basically on par with Keemstar's take a couple sips of beer. Three sips. Take some, well, no, that's better than beer, than three sips of beer, actually. That's better. I felt a little bit better about myself after that. And I told myself, I'll keep doing this every day. I'll do at least a hundred burpees every day. Burpees for God, y'all. Why is it, why is no one like cut the mic? I don't think anybody <laughs> they nobody He's the headliner. They That's may have paid they may have paid him to be there very well. Probably. Uh, you know. 
Like, he's their celebrity headline, Chetana. Yo, this man busts down a hundred burpees a day. Because <laughs> it's something. That's what it started off as. I, love I never stopped. The pacing. <laughs> I never stopped. That's what I'm saying. He's working the crowd. There's nobody there. <laughs> when in the first part, there was like, you know, 20, 30 people shoulder to shoulder here. Is it giving you I felt gay, Fussy vibe? Yeah, yeah. I felt worthless. <laughs> I felt worthless. <laughs> People are saying I felt that in ugly. the chat, too. <laughs> I felt gay. <laughs> we got to get Fussy up here, man, to share the stage felt, with this that, legend. No, uh, th like, that just based on what they told me. <laughs> <laughs> so inspirational, man. Uh, God. Gay. Hanks was, just was the headline piece. speaker. Hey, yeah, they ain't cutting that off. They paid good money. So fucking they paid good awesome. money for him to show up. Just give me for 500 bucks. recovery day, Winnipeg's website, Hanks was the event's headline speaker in a lineup that also included Canada's Drag Race alumni, Juicebox, Boa, Kendall, Gender, and Cows, an American actor, Tony Dennison. You gotta love that he just went straight for that other person's throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just give me 500 bucks and a place to do my burpees, man, then we're good. That's what they paid. Oh, somebody said Chet right is Rita's son. Oh, is it the other way around? <laughs> is Colin Hanks not? I know they have different moms. Right. Who's who's. Yeah. Gay. Yeah, Colin Hanks' his mom is Samantha Lewis. Got it, got Lewis? it. Okay, sorry, I had it yeah. reversed. Damn, Rita's. Poor Rita, man. Poor Rita. Oh, the, the people that booked Chet probably had it reversed, too. Yeah, <laughs> they thought they were getting yeah, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> State of mind. Long story short, I got in really good shape from doing that. I got out of rehab. I was so thankful just to be alive and sober. I was broke. I had no idea how I was going to make a living for myself. You were broke. You're telling me, stop with the poor act. You're Jesus Christ. Done. You know what I mean? Like, don't even act like you're broke and didn't have money. Dude, stop. <laughs> you know, like this dude had a private. It seems like he always had a fat apartment, like on the beach in Santa Monica. He probably was at some like Four Seasons Recovery Clinic. Stop it, bro. I felt worthless. What else did you feel, Fusi? I felt ugly. What and? else? I felt gay. Uh, right. the I felt, no, uh, that, like, that's uh, basically what they told me. <laughs> Dude, the, his, when he tries to stick the landing on that is my favorite. Like, that's just based on what they told me. <laughs> oh, my God. Tom has four kids. Who said he had two? He has four kids, apparently. Okay. Sorry, don't know all the all Felt the lore ugly. about the Hanks clan. When Rita was crying, there were two sons present. That's what I know. You think it was Chet? You think it was from this? No, this uh, this was before. I mean, this was after. We got Colin, Chet, Elizabeth, and Truman. Who was Elizabeth hmm. and Truman? What do they look like? Are there pictures of them? I just want to know what they look like. Like, are they more Colin or more? Uh, Let's see, because. Uh, He's such an incredible. Colin looks just like his dad. Dude, that kid looks like Bob Dylan. What? Like Bob Dylan as a kid? I swear to God, that's like spitting image, Bob Dylan. Huh. Look up young Bob okay. Dylan. Hanks. Uh, no, I, I see it. And... Dude, who is this? Oh, I guess I see it. I see it in her face. Yeah, <laughs> I see yeah, the resemblance. Do you see him all together? Is she an actress? I don't know. I don't recognize her. Holy shit, he does look exactly like he Dude, Bob Dylan. Dude, he's crazy. He's pop it up. Show the people. You know? Spit an image of the man. Look at that. Young Bob Dylan is Tom Hanks' son. Yeah, it looks... I, I see the resemblance, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. All righty, uh, Chet, please inspire us more. I didn't care. I was just as grateful then at the beginning that Wait, I am now. Wait, somebody in chat says they dated Chet? If that's true, reach out to um, one of these guys on Discord. Definitely want to hear about that. What do we do about it? <laughs> I said, I'm going to keep my life just as simple as I, out here in the world 
as I did in rehab. Because when I was in rehab, just doing those burpees, and it wasn't a nice rehab, there was no massages and horseback rides. It was just a mo Motel 6 looking building out oh, in the man. desert where all I did was do burpees, read, journal, and walk laps around the place. No self. I was more at peace just doing that than I had been during all the extravagant, uh, all the other stuff that I had been doing up until that. So when I got out, I told myself, I'm gonna keep my life just this simple. In January, I, I had been posting my workouts, posting my process, my structure, my routine, my burpees, my journaling, my meditation, so on and so forth for the mind, body, and soul. Just posting it because I took pride in it. What ended up happening was it resonated with a lot of people. People started reaching Wait, out to is. me. So I is someone checking donations? Because this shit's insane. I, ch I dated Chet a year ago around this time. We were photographed together in Santa Monica. I want to give him a chance based on his public perception. He was sober. He was always kind to me, but needs to feel nurtured to heal. Okay, there you go, from Olivia. She dated Chet. Chetina. Yeah, you know, he's obviously just da a little bit damaged. Olivia. He's feeling a little bit gay. You is someone vetting these though? Because I, I don't want to miss great comments like that. Of course. Um, I'm looking Olivia at just all dropped the time. another. Okay. Yes, I dated him. If you Google Olivia J and Chet Hanks, you can see I'm telling the truth, not trying to clout chase, just being honest. Um, Th if you it, have a up. Discord, yeah, if you have a Discord, please reach out to anyone. Wait, let me Google it. What's your name, Olivia? What do you Olivia mean? Come J? on. Why are you? It, it was posted just like a moment before uh, we started talking about it. All right, so uh, what's your name, Olivia? Olivia J. J. And Chet Hanks. Ooh. Did, like that just based on what they told me. Um, this is them. This is, she's in the chat. Shout out Olivia, friend of the show. Direct connection. Oh, no pictures, please. I see what's up, Olivia. All right, cool. That's cool. I thought I might as well start a platform to be able to share this knowledge for who else is drawn to it. So I started a business, the Hanks Fit Self Mastery Program on January oh, 1st of this year. <laughs> Wait, I had plugging? used my, yep. I, I had like, I had like $8,000 left to my name. I spent 7,500 of it to a coach, to a mentor, to teach me how to set up this business. Oh my God, I was spending bro. the last of my money on a dream. My first month running that business, I made 50K. Okay, it all came bro, back. Bro, what are you doing? These people need, need some inspiration. He's talking about burpees and how he's trying to pitch his fucking coaching business to them. He's about to plug Hustlers University. What the fuck? This is insane. Is one of his tips always be plugging? <laughs> Doesn't matter when or how. Uh, th like that, just based on what they told me. <laughs> what the hell? Back right away. Now it's a seven figure business. Started off at 50K. Now I'm on track to be doing 100K a month. How's that supposed to help them? You're Tom Hanks' son. It's a I will seven say, figure Ethan, business. I've realized my purpose. You, you want to get fit and appeal to the tater thoughts. I know a guy now. 100 burpees a day. 100 burpees a day. Hey. Take the Hanks Fit Challenge. Well, and he's in your DM, so maybe you can reach out. He blocked me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Which is to simply be the best version of myself and then live as an example. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it every day. I wake Bro, up. Bro, another plug. Follow me on Instagram, do my coaching. I'm a, I'm a great opportunity. I'm a great role model for you. I'm like this kook who went before me. This is nuts. 4.45 in the morning every day. I do 100 burpees. Then <laughs> you I make... mentioned that. You mentioned the 100 burpees <laughs> several times. Chat, 100 burpees, Hanks. Take for Somebody said he's like one punch man. I do totally. a two-hour workout at the gym. <laughs> I felt ugly. I eat the exact meals that I need to eat for my goals. I meditate, and then for the rest of the day, all day, I'm servicing my clients. I've realized that the key to everything is simply surrendering your own will to be in God's will. To realize oh, that it's not about you. 
It's not about what you feel like doing. It's about simply becoming the best version of yourself so that you can live as an example because that's exactly what I needed. I needed someone to show me day in, day out, no excuses that they're gonna hold their word and do exactly what they need Wait, to what do the fuck was that? in service. So yeah, that okay, so wow, that was, that was wild, man. That was wild. Burpees for God, y'all. Burpees for God. Did he mention he does 100 burpees? Actually, interestingly, just this morning, he was doing burpees for God, I think. Here, let's see. There he goes. That's my boy. Burpees for God. Wait, What's up? Aren't you supposed to jump? That's like, that's like a half burpee. No, that's normal burpees, but for God, burpees, you don't have to jump. <laughs> yeah. He's doing a prayer every time he stands up. Yeah. God bless. Ready? Watch that's it. that Bisman. <laughs> God bless. Burpee. God bless. God bless. Uh, Yo, he's still going. There's like 20 stories of him doing burpees. And they all look exactly the same. Oh, shit. This is, guy is so privileged and he wants not to be so bad. It's interesting. He paid his dues. So that's <laughs> yeah, dues sure paid. Sure did. <laughs> Long time friend of the show since Gamer Gunk. That's why I w it was kind of funny, awkward meeting him after Channel 5 video. I don't know how to use Discord, though. I boomer energy. Sorry, guys. That's from Olivia, his ex-girlfriend. So you met him after the Channel 5 video? She was trying to give him a chance, she said. Wow. I do think he's a sweet, sought, sensitive side. So obviously, you know, I'm not judging you for dating Chetana, you know? That man does 100 burpees today. He's probably got crazy stamina. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 set it up for um, uh, the HR. That took way longer than I thought. Oh, God, I also got to watch Austin McBroom getting knocked out. There's there's but too much. Let's do HR, and then we'll talk about Austin. 12 steps? What is this? Is this just... He posted the other day that he's been sober for a year. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we love that for him. Sure do. I just don't know if God, your brain on God is better. I just don't know. Um, well, uh, should we talk about Austin McBroom getting knocked the fuck out, or should we do the HR segment? And we also have Dirt Tate Dom. Fuck, we're taking too long to get through this shit. <laughs> well, the, the chat thing ended up being, we didn't know there was more... Okay, and let's we do a, it. We let's it do a poll here. Uh, uh, HR segment. Austin McBroom getting knocked the F out. McBroom getting KO'd. Or Dirty Dom calling me out. Dirty. It's I don't know be, how it's spelled. I'm just writing dirty. Dirty Dom. It's going to be no competition, this poll. You think Call HR? Out, yeah. Yeah. I, that's the one I want to do, but... I'm gonna try. I'm still gonna try to get to everything. I'm gonna go for it. But I just wanna uh, feel out the audience. Yeah, exactly. We'll do everything though, regardless. So don't worry. Get your fucking ass up and so, work. So, um, yeah, yeah. HR segments winning. A lot of interest in the Austin awesome McBroom stuff though, but clear winner is HR segment. So when we get set up for that, I'm gonna go use the bathroom because I've been hitting this game. Uh, <laughs> the gamer sup sup sup. This gamer sucks, 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 got me all jacked sucks, up. Sucks, 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 okay, cool. Sucks, 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 Thank you for the gifted. Billiam. What, what liquor? This man's name is Billiam What Liquor. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right. Are we all set up? I'm just going to go to the bathroom. I'll be There's right really, back. yeah. It is. Then uh, we're, we're it's set time up. for HR. All Hello. Right. Hello. Oh, another from. Another follow up. $5 from Olivia. Yep. A friend introduced us after the Channel 5 video. She didn't know who he was until after she introduced us. Five dollar dono. Wait, so the friend introduced you, but she didn't know he was Tom Hanks' son? His name's... Olivia, could you perhaps make us a PowerPoint? Interesting. We could follow this whole timeline? Yeah. We love PowerPoints. Right Hello. Now. I was just diagnosed with a new heart arrhythmia. I'm so scared for what 
months to come, but you guys make me feel a lot better. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Clum clumsy hope. I hope it uh, turns out to be something manageable. Um, when I bend over, my fupa unzips my pants. <laughs> Does this happen to anyone else? <laughs> Oh, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't say that that has happened to me. Anyone, anybody have that issue? No, can't say the same. Here. We'll ask Ethan. He's the Fupa King, obviously. So. We'll see what he has to say. I wish they knew about Omega Verse. Well, now we do. Should I Google that? Omega Verse? Am I going to regret it? Omega Verse. The best buffalo chicken calzones was is from... a subgenre of speculative erotic fiction. Uh oh. Omega Originally pizza. a subgenre of erotic, erotic slash fiction. Um, all right, I'm a little scared to read into this more. Stories in the genre are premised on societies wherein humans are divided into a dominant hierarchy of dominant alphas, neutral betas, and submissive omegas, determining how they interact with one another. Well, that's just uh, Brave New World. Hmm. Is it not? That's literally the 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 plot of uh, Brave New World. Sounds uh, sick. Well, now we know about it. Now though. we know about it. Thank Hell you. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Let's let's read oh, the I didn't even look a little at, bit. Dan. I didn't see the chat. Everybody's saying no. Stop. Oh my God! Don't Google it. Well, now we know. Too, well, late. too late. I mean, the Wikipedia page is pretty neutral. Everyone's going crazy Everyone's, about this. Yeah. Wow. What the fuck? What's going on? I get to look into it more, I guess. The Omega verse. Very controversial, it seems. People are saying not the same. Not the same as Brave New World? Okay, fair enough. They they did have like a whole no. alpha, alpha beta ah. thing in Brave New World, if I recall. It's been a while, like high school. No. Uh, so yeah, well, now we know. Okay, and obviously the HR segment has won, so we can close that poll. Thank you very much. That was a good poll. I saw people saying good poll, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Saw Teddy, uh, in the, saw Teddy Fresh Stegosaurus sweater in the wild in Dublin today. Shout out. Hey, shout out Dublin. Shout out. I just found out I got diabetes a week ago. What? I'm sorry to hear that. There's a lot of people being diagnosed with horrible things that are donating to us right now, so... By the way, speaking of diabetes, Sorry about that. something I'm working on is a low insulin diet, which means like no sugar, no sugar, no carbs. And like if you eat sugar or carbs, you got to pair it with like fat and protein so the insulin doesn't spike. OK. And you digest it slower. Did you did you get warned by your doctor about? No, potential I just diabetes? know I'm I just fucking know that <laughs> that it might be on the horizon. Yeah. But, you know, I noticed something about myself that when I eat, like, simple carbs, if I have, like, pizza or a bagel or something like that with lots of bread, I just get so fucking tired and foggy. I just feel like shit. Brick. And I found when I eat, like, fatty proteins and stuff like that, like this morning, it's not a fad diet, bro. This is my own invention. It's just like, uh, it's just what makes me feel good, right? So like this morning I had plain Greek yogurt. Perfect food for not spiking insulin. It's just fatty, lots of protein, no added sugar. And then I had a, one hard boiled egg. And um, a nectarine. You know? Sounds good. Feels good, yeah. And I'll fucking uh, 30 ounces of a uh, gamer stuff. Gamer stuff. Which has no sugar. No. I should point out. But yeah, it's good. I like it. Anyway, let's do some HR. Yeah. I like the HR music. So, as we mentioned, here we are. I will be acting today as HR, which is a little bit of a conflict of interest, being as that I'm the boss. Well, HR would work for you anyways, right? So That's true. That's true. But I think, generally speaking, you don't want to <laughs> yeah, have to go to your boss to complain about stuff. Sure. 
But, well, forget about that. You know? Uh, luckily, I'm so inviting, and uh, you guys wouldn't worry about anything like that, right? Definitely. Definitely. So, we have several conflicts brewing behind the scenes between the crew, and I'm basically here to mediate it. I'm here to... Some may even directly involve you, Ethan. Okay, Which well, is a written... That's a conflict of interest, I suppose, but... Well, I'll try my best to be impartial, but... Mm -hmm. So let's let's just get started. I mean, okay. Our first conflict here. Sorry, I'm eating. Where is it? Hey. First conflict is love and A B. Now. Go over to the couch, yeah. yeah, you should come over. Uh, oh, and uh, love, can you um, log into your mobile unit here? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's One important second. that we meet face to face for this, you guys. Uh, right. To really resolve this, okay? Now, a now AB, your your body language is already a problem for me. This isn't resolution body language. You're taking uh, over the couch. I don't have the confidence that Bradley Martin has to just spread my legs in front of uh, the camera, but Can you talk the other way? Cuz it's if you, you you know, this good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. I feel like this is very non-confrontational. So this complaint came to me through AB. He filed a complaint with me that Love had done something that he didn't find proper. Love posted the photo of AB. Actually, do we have the photo in question? I was doing my job, AK. Right. Well, hold on. Let me let right. me finish. Don't get okay, defensive sorry, already. Sorry, 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 sorry. Should I put him back a little bit? Can someone link me the photo just for context here? It's in the top of the dock, um, but oh, I, I have it right here. It was so on my on my. Can you park love this? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So, AB has a weird aversion to this. Um, he told me it was improper of love to post this picture on Twitter. Now, what was the post you tweeted, love? I was. I just posted this picture and a. Quotation saying, uh, "This is what too much flaca will do to you." Pretty funny meme. It's all right. It's all right. So love, or I mean, AB had filed a request for me, uh, complaining that he should have asked permission before posting this photo, and he didn't like it. Is that right, AB? Well, I said the night prior, this is the worst photo I've ever seen of me. This photo is going to hunt me forever. And then I woke up the next day and saw this posted on Twitter. Mm hmm. So yes, I was like, who posted this? Wait, that timeline doesn't make sense, right? Or does it? Maybe it does. It makes sense. I posted truth. that maybe an hour before um, you woke up, maybe. So yeah, maybe it does make sense. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it was already on the subreddit with like 3,000 points. Right. It's, but That's your, fine. your problem was like someone within this organization. Someone I thought was, me. yeah. Someone I thought was a friend betrayed me. So. Let me let me ask you first. Where and when did you say that? Did you say that on the show? No, uh, I said it the in picture? the in the group chat. Did you? Yeah. I, I, I did not see that. No. Well, he. You... I. Uh, hold on a sec. I'm gonna mediate. He did okay. say in the group chat we have. This is the worst photo of me ever. I saw that. I perceived that personally as like, well, it's just you know, it's funny, but mm. to you it represented an existential threat to your self image. Yeah. To my being, in a way. Right. Like I, didn't, I don't even know. It's, like looking at it right now, like I'm trying to look away and I can't. It's like eating at my soul. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have that. We actually have the conversation here, bruh. Who posted this? 10:30 a.m. Dan, not me. An uh, immediate accusation of love. Can we delete it? And I, okay. I think, I think we weren't. We didn't know if he was serious or not. Ultimately, it was conveyed that it was a serious request, and then love you'd erased it, right? Dan erased uh, it. Dan ended up. Yeah, I was napping or something. Oh, Dan did it. Yeah. So, right. So, love. What What do you want to basically say right. in your defense here? So, so what I want to say, like, I would never go out of my way to screenshot this from the episode. I saw it was literally the top Reddit post, right? So I basically just mirrored a Reddit post to Twitter. Um, you know, this like. I know, I know stuff like that does good on, uh, got on Twitter, mm -hmm. so I posted on Twitter, and, uh, you know, um, 
I, I guess it's a fair point to to to, to have me. Well, the, the thing is, I post so much. I probably post like a hundred pieces of content maybe a week, like between all social media, right? Mm -hmm. And for me to ask every time, I, I guess it's something. I do see the see the difference, but. Uh, yeah, just because it blew up on Reddit and stuff, I didn't end up asking. But I, I probably would have asked if it wasn't on Reddit. I understand. I guess if he didn't read the group chat ahead of time. Did you read the group chat, actually? No, I I am completely on... I almost thought you didn't say it in the group chat, and I thought you said it on in person in the show. on uh, Or in the studio when I was not there. Because I did not actually see that in the group chat at, at all. Um, um, uh, PFP Accio says this is my new wallpaper on my phone. Yep. Oh. It's definitely gonna be after this. It's gonna be everywhere. Now, I want to say, first of all, when I, I was, I thought Love did a great job as, as, you know, as the general or whatever. I was like, this is good content. Yeah. So I guess maybe there needs to be a protocol. Should we ask the permission from crew members before posting their photo? No, this is the first time I've ever asked for anything to ever be deleted. Okay. Could I, could I interject a little bit there? I think the other way around would be better. If you ever have, and by the way, if I ever post something, of course I will delete it. I mean, I'm not bound to whatever mm -hmm. I post, you know, just remove it. But if you guys ever feel like, yeah, th I didn't really like this moment, da -da -da, could we give me a warning before? Because I usually prepare, I, this post was scheduled yeah, uh, and stuff like that. So I prepare stuff uh, before. Yeah. Uh, no, so that, maybe the other way around would be good. That's fair. Actually, can I say, love? Mm -hmm. I don't think me and you have a beef. I think Ethan wanted to talk about this. Ethan wanted to bring more attention to this. This, uh, is a se this, this wasn't my idea. I didn't put this segment together. Love, can you mediate me and Ethan? This right. was a I, huge problem you guys were having. And and may I say, uh, 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 AB, Christmas is coming up. Can I get some merch going with this photo, perhaps? If I get a cut. You'll get all of it. No, actually, I wouldn't even want to do that for a cut. You'll get this, all of it, bro. I mean, even though it's going to be everywhere now. Dude, you'll get all of it. What? Come on. This is, a, this is, a, this is a deep rooted childhood problem looking at this photo. So, so, what's the root of your insecurity that I'm curious about? Uh, I don't know. Me and my siblings are all kind of fucked up like that. I don't really know why. If you guys ever see me with band aids or cuts on my face, it's because, like, if I have a pimple, I can't just leave it alone. I have to, like, pick at it. That's why my hair is always messed up. I cut my own hair. And now yeah. I'm, it's like the visual representation of how I feel. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> so, Are we any well, psychologists I, here? I'm kind of wondering here, was it actually Ethan's fault or was it you? Because I did not bring this up with PR or with uh, what did I do? HR. Yeah, no, I mean, I, don't remember I did not bring this up with HR. I, I don't remember bringing you. this up either. That's no, funny. AB complained in really? group chat. He said, exactly, yeah. He says, we need to remove this. And to oh, yeah, me, that's what yeah, I, Okay, yeah, I did it in group I, chat. I, 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 I what do you not guys think saw? this is Ethan's fault. Okay. Thank you, love. And you know what? Uh, I have a little bit of a compromise here. Um, uh, I have a tweet drafted here. Just let me, let me, I'm not going to tweet it directly. I, I was, of course need your permission before, not at this point. But I was thinking maybe I could post this. It's like a little bit of an in-between. Um, I think that could work, you know. I, I think it might be a good tweet. Because the tweet was doing extremely well for the 10 minutes it was up. Yeah. What do you so think Love about this? So Love put up a heavily blurred, pixelated photo of, of AB. Does this work for you, AB? Yeah. There are a lot of other stills, too, from the episode that... I well, like... this... I like this one specifically. <laughs> I like this one, Love. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tweet that. We all good? Or I'm cool no? with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I, that, I just tweeted it. That's nice. You had mentioned uh, that your, you you thought your eyes were going in different directions. <laughs> yeah. The buck tooth. Yeah. The crazy hair. I'm okay with the hair. My hair's always fucked up. What but... else is it in here that... Uh, I feel like I look like Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean, right? Yeah. I got a cut on my face. A little tiny one right there on the left. Just, Where? I didn't uh, notice that. Right there. Uh, uh, this? Yeah, right there. Oh. I mean, that's not so bad, but I just, uh, this is scary to me. Well, I want, I see, I saw some person say, um, normalize, not making fun of people's looks. And, you know, you know, I'll be the first one to say, AB is a very handsome man. Very, very of handsome man. Everyone says that. And so I'm not making fun think, of his looks. Do you think handsome enough to sabotage my heartthrob status by posting this? 
Well, I, I, no. I, 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 that is, I think is where you might be a, think a little bit different about this because this is just like temporary. It, we all know you're a very handsome man. Your clothes sound perfect. Oh no, I, I know I'm fucked in the head. No, I know it's not you guys. I know I definitely know it's me. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, when I look well, at this photo, AB, and I, yeah, it doesn't. I have no perception change. You know what I mean? Right. It's just a yeah. funny photo of you. No, I, I, I know it's me. Like yeah. I, my whole life, everyone can tell me one thing, and it's just I don't know. It's affected my siblings too. I don't know where we get it from. Yeah. Marek Mari says, uh, "Embrace the meme. People will love you." Oh, I, I'm always. You guys know. You guys know. I'm always down for the show. I almost puked my. I mean, I did puke my guts out, but I almost had my like uh, intestines explode. So this on the same on merch day. is a hard no from you, AB. I'm telling you, cleaning up this holiday season. People are Can clamoring the for picture? the AB hoodie. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. You don't have to answer now. Okay, I'll do it. And, I'll do it. Because um, it's already going to be everywhere after this. So just embrace why not, it, bro. Just why not make some it. money off of it? That's how you free yourself. Yeah. You free yourself by putting right. this on a shirt. So at this point, I'm feeling like I kind of missed out on likes yesterday. If we backtrack now, you know, mm, that would have been like point. a viral tweet. Right. So you feel now that a little bit bitter that AB told you to remove it. Yeah, because, you know, I take pride in like get like posting something that just blows up that that feels so good and, it was a you know, good post yeah so now i feel like damn like damn we missed out on some likes bro shit i feel like i bring enough likes to even it out we've had stupid photos of me before hmm. ab says i bring clout i just already bring so much clout let this one photo go, he says. I just feel like, yeah, yeah I gave my I soul. Need that clout. I gave my soul on this day. <laughs> I gave my new Teddy Fresh. You're gonna shirt. make so much money from this photo, though. I'm telling you. Oh my God, I look like a beaver. All right, well, um, are, are we resolved here? Um, yes, love. I didn't. I, 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 I never took it personal. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Cause you did DM me and say that I fucking can't stand that love character. <laughs> Well, yeah, I was actually a little bit threatened about, about this tweet right here. I response. never had any conversations on the side. Everything is what you guys already saw. Hold on. Yeah, he posted. This, this he is did. The, this is the, you tweeted this, under it. Bruh, I legit want to know who posted this. You knew you posted it too. Like, I am the dude who posts stuff on Instagram usually. Well, so you weren't I, answering I in the group chat. I demanded accountability. Wait, that does come off threatening. That is very... Like, that is like... Sure, I... I am the one making the issue here, maybe. I want to know but, who's fucking me over, yeah. Because well, we, we have a private chat. Why okay, go to Twitter, a public forum? No, I did, I did on Twitter. No one answered. I mean, on Instagram, uh, the chat. Yeah, so what, how does going to Twitter and posting it going to get you quicker? Because I, I, on, cause I know you liked it so much, Ethan, the night before that I thought maybe you posted it because I didn't think love would do that to me. That's why I was so hurt. Oh, yeah. Mm, only I would do that to you. Only you would do it, yeah. <laughs> I am confused about the timelines here. Hmm. Wait, what? Are you trying to dodge accountability? No, no, no. I'm, no, no. I definitely posted. I'm just wondering where, when I posted it. Do we know exactly? I think it was literally right after the show ended. T yeah. So it's not when you guys woke up. I posted it after the show, right? Yeah. Like I remember it was on. No, it's at ten o'clock. Ten in the morning. Ten a.m. Oh. Right. <laughs> what are you guys doing to me? Yeah, it says 10.30 a.m. in the screenshot of the original tweet. The only All thing right. is maybe I asked who posted it on Twitter before the group chat. I don't know. I was in a, I was in a weird in a state. Fuke state. Yeah. <laughs> I, was still, I was still recovering from the day before. Well, I guess I scheduled it. Yeah, I don't know. I guess his HR. I'm going to have to make a verdict on this one. I think... On one hand, I see where you're coming from with like, you see that, the one photo that you just, it brings out like the biggest insecurities, right? It just makes you feel bad. Yeah. But on the other hand, I'm kind of with love in that I wouldn't necessarily think that I would have to ask for permission, but it's good that we know that now. You do not have to ask for permission. No, I, I'm, I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> you know, there are boundaries. And if we get a f picture of AB... We need to ask his permission before we post it, love. And you're asking. I appreciate it. Yeah. That. I have a reputation. And you're so. asking. And then uh, in the future, no, no. if there's a conflict in the office, AB, um, 
I would I would avoid uh, making death threats on on Twitter to your coworkers, okay? Yeah. Sounds Because that scared me a lot. Yeah. But, you know, I just want to make some clear <coughs> to you. Some stuff clear. Like, I pro I would not have posted it if, it if it didn't blew up. I would not have posted it. You, you said on the show, like, you're, you'd do anything for the show. So I thought this would be included. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you know, I, 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 I even also noted, like, you knew you looked pretty messed up after you had puked and everything and stuff like that. And you still came back on the show. I thought that was pretty heroic of you, so I gotta give you some credit. Absolutely Thank heroic. You, yeah. Oh, for sure. You, you. you came back, you sat down after that horrible, horrible hour on the bathroom, so Thank gotta give you, you some credit that too. Shout I out. had mad respect for AB. He went through yeah. the Trent, man, he went to war for us on Monday. Yeah, that was rough. Mad respect. By the way, thank you to Tat Tatiana. Huge dono. Hello. It's, <laughs> it's my 24th birthday today. Glad I got to enjoy it watching The Real One Podcast. Happy Give birthday. Did. Peace and love. Did. Thank you guys for always making hard days easier. Thank you, Ta did. Tatiana. Awesome. Love you. Money on your birthday. I know. Yeah. Hmm. But okay, so, so is there anything you guys want to close here? Um, cl wrap this HR up? up? I think we're good. I think there's, I, there's peace. I've said, I've said sorry. I don't know if I've ever got a sorry about the threat on Twitter. But... I'm sorry. Love. Okay. You have actually threatened me before. Oh. Okay. Interesting. interesting. Uh, this doesn't sound resolved at you all. You are the only one who's ever threatened me in this office. Mm. You yeah. have said once I almost stepped in front of you by accident during a photo and you said you better not or people get pissed off. Then you told me once when I responded to one, well, I was going to respond to one of your tweets messing with you. You said... You better not post that. AB did that. Everyone saw well, that. You literally told me to remove something I just posted, so I don't know. But okay, whatever. whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, guys. Wow. We got to. We were so close. I though. know. We were so close. Dang. Okay, we're good. We're good. No, but you literally sound... almost. You murdered Lovebot, the original one. Oh, man. There, this goes deeper than I thought. This goes <laughs> deeper than I thought. That's true. Um, you did knock over love. I got blamed but... for that. I did not do that. No, now stop it. We saw your foot kick the damn thing. AB did that. Everyone saw that. All right, guys, well, this goes too deep. You Let's ran just over him. You ran him over a few times. You hit him with a gag. That was for a gag, bro. That was for a gag. Thank you, love. And I was having fun. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to move on. Thank you, guys. Uh, clearly a great wait, wait, wait. moment of healing. Wait, wait. They're supposed to restore trust by that's what I, that we're getting oh, okay. to that. So we are going to uh, perform a trust fall to demonstrate the bridge of yeah. Love, let me catch trust. your ass. Let me catch that new bot real quick. I don't know how. Oh, you're not, catching me. Not sure how this is gonna work here with the love bot, of course. Oh, I'm sure he could hold me up. You got me, buddy, right? Dan doesn't trust no. him. He's putting down pillows. No, no. I do not. No, I don't consent to this. All right, love. Let's person. go. What the fuck? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. All right. Uh, wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think you're supposed to count down before you fall back. Yeah, I, I told think... you I wasn't ready, bro. You just gotta dive in. That's, All right, that's now, trust. great. This trust fall created a new HR incident. <coughs> well, thank you to Love and AB. I don't think we've resolved anything really here today, but... Um... <laughs> Actually caused more more trouble. Love you, care? Oh shit! I think loves her, Ab. He's frozen. He's fine. He's good. He's good. Thank See you guys. Sir, Thank bro. you. Literally frozen on the love bot. Did we break him? Oh shit! All right. He's fine, everybody. Don't worry about love. Cut his mic, please. We don't. We don't really need to be injured. Yeah. Good. It's distracting. <laughs> All right. Well, Off to a great start. Up next, we have. Ian and Cameron having a big issue here. Thank you. And thank you, by the way, on a serious note to AB for even uh, participating in this. Oh, yeah. When, when the picture right there, you know. Anything for the show. I appreciate that. And that's true. I mean, look at this. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, damn, they're already beefing. Okay, right. so. Okay, all right. Can I just preface this a little bit? I've never seen Cam get worked up except when it comes to this situation. Okay. I just want to put that out All right. There. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is interesting. So. That's how you know it's important. 
I had Cameron come to me and file an HR complaint. Cameron thinks he looks like, or is, I mean, he, this goes to the Stranger Things chart. No, don't show this just yet, because oh. we got to preface this. Wait, hold on. I don't, I don't agree with this framing here. Yes, hold on. Well, the complaint came to me from Cameron. What's the name of the actor he he wants to be like? Joe Curie, I think. Joe, or what's his name you in? Think. Yes, yeah. it is. What's the name in Stranger Things? Steve Harrington. Steve, Steve Harrington. Harrington. So <laughs> okay, no. Well, hold me, on, hold on, me. hold on. So Cameron, that's me. Thinks he's Steve Harrington of the, of the uh, Stranger Things crew. See, we, we there, were having a, a no, 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 no. You have to grant someone the permission to speak, okay? Because this, I'm setting this up, guys, guys, guys. This is conflict resolution. Okay, permission to speak, boss? No. Not yet. Oh, why? Denied. Denied. So, um, of the whole crew, this is how Cameron sees himself. He's Steve. The badass, jock, ladies guy. This is this is how you see yourself, right, this, Cam? Oh, can I permission to speak? Yeah, yes, 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 but yes. Don't, don't let him speak too much. Just answer the question. I disagree with this entire framing right now. This was not my complaint. Okay, go ahead, Cam. My, you, can, okay. you can plead your let case. Me, let me... Set this up. We're planning a Halloween episode, and a part of it is we're going to be dressed up as uh, Stranger Things characters. For you know, spoiler, but you know, t tune in, guys. Uh, but uh, so I was told that Olivia and I would be dressed up as Steve Harrington. And Who the <laughs> hell told you that? Olivia told me this. It, we would be dressed up as okay, Steve hold Harrington. Okay, hold on, hold on, Ian. And the. Ethan Hawke's daughter's name, I forget. So she would be Ethan Hawke's daughter. Yeah, and we would be and wearing would be Steve. the Scoops Ahoy outfit. And I was stoked. Mm -hmm. And Okay. That's and that's it. And then for whatever reason, okay. Ian lying. has an issue. This man is lying. Okay. What, Go he, ahead. He now, doesn't now, have permission to talk yet. What the hell is going on? Okay, here? so now Cam, you made it sound pretty innocent. You're just saying, well I was I was given a role and I was enthused to take on that role. And then Ian, for whatever reason, Decide Ian is fuming right now. Let's let sneak Ian it away speak. from me. Uh, go ahead, Ian. Now, what, now, you tell us what happened. Okay, we had a light-hearted conversation. See, look, he's so antagonistic. Try not, please try not to mess with uh, Write him up. Citation. This is a Steve Harrington. This is, has right to here. be a citation. I, I'm already. not speaking. Right out the this, gate. Is Steve, this is what Steve Harrington said. Cam, uh, like. we are trying to resolve conflict here. If you could avoid man spreading on Ian, please, during the negotiation. Okay. We were having a conversation about which person in the office is which character from Stranger Things. And I was given Steve Harrington right out the that gate. That was not what Hold happened on, at that all. Is that is the his... Scoops Ahoy Olivia conversation came way later. No. Hold he... on, hold on, guys, guys. Cam, you got to let Ian speak. Okay? Yes. And then and then you can rebut. Unplug it. Unplug that microphone. It's important, it's important during HR uh, conflict resolution. It's called radical listening, Cameron. You need to Thank just you. listen to what he's saying you hear it? and then take the time to respond afterwards. Great. So I put forward in a lighthearted, jovial way that Cameron, if he were a Stranger Things character, would be one of the Byers boys. One of the Byers boys? Who's Jonathan that? Byers. Will's older brother. Will's older brother. I got some agreement in the office at the time. This guy? Yes, if you can show. Okay. This is obviously Cam. Okay. That is such a Cameron character. Okay. Cameron freaked out, went rogue, was smashing things, was shitting on the floor in the office, making a big fuss, saying, no, I'm Steve. I think Cameron <coughs> is a little upset because he was called a Hufflepuff the other week. And now he's lashing out against the rest of us. And I don't think that it's very fair. I feel like I made a pretty, pretty just observation here. And then it turned into a whole drama where everyone was saying, who is who, blah, 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 blah. Now, Samantha, are you present? Present. Present. Samantha has to put together these costumes for the Halloween episode. Hmm. So I think Samantha has some sort of oversight on making the costumes, would you agree? On who gets which costume? I, I would agree. Would you say that Jonathan Byers is a good fit for Cameron? I do think so. Okay, now, now hold on here. No. So I'm trying to understand where the conflict comes from. So Ian, Cam, you wanna be Steve, 
Yes, I was giving. But Steve, Ian, Ian Olivia, thinks you're Jonathan. Olivia, if, if How does in, Olivia? If we're calling in witnesses here, no, hold on. But I, I, I'm uh, willing to be a witness, Ian, if you need me. A, B, okay, okay <laughs> hold on, Ab. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but before you even get to who said you're who, what is the problem necessarily with you playing this character instead of Steve? What's the issue at heart here? Okay, I'll, I'll, there's three reasons why I want to be Steve. Okay. Number one, I love that Scoops Ahoy outfit. I think it would be fun to wear that. Fair. Number two, I like Steve. And number three, both the Byers boys, creative as they are, are boring as shit characters. And I don't want to be a boring as shit character. I get okay. a monotone sometimes, but, you know, I, I hate this character in particular. He's a creep. In the first season, he was taking creep shots of Nancy. You know. So do you think that you take it personally when they say you're a Jonathan, not a Steve? Do uh, you think they're commenting on, on your personality? No, I just don't, I just don't like this character. Don't like him. Yeah. Don't want to have anything to do with him. And I'm them. sure they see virtue in this boring ass guy, but this ain't me. Ian, by the same token, are you and hold trying? On. Oh, go ahead. May I add? Yes, to you this? may. There's a, there's more to the story too. Go ahead. I believe Ian's a little bitter because he wanted to be interesting Hopper, but he was typecast as Yuri the Smuggler, double crossing, comic relief. Interesting. And I think there's a little bit of a Freudian death drive here, and he's trying to bring everybody down with him. That is interesting uh, observation, of course, conjecture. Ian, do you are you trying to make some statement on Cam's character by putting him in with Jonathan instead of Steve? What, what are we doing I here? feel like most people would agree with me that this is a Jonathan right next to me. I, it seems I, like the right on the wall here. I, I disagree. Don't... And, okay, I will clarify. And I had. And a... may I add, I also was ready to champion you as Hopper. And I still am. I think you could you got Hopper potential in you. But right now, you're pulling this double cross like uh, a Yuri. Uh, if I may, Ian, is it true you want to be Hopper, but you got typecast as Yuri? Uh, yeah, that did happen, yes. Okay, okay. And so is it possible, you know, that if, if Cam's been writing for you to be Hopper, which is debatable, obviously I'm Hopper, so that whole... You're not Hopper. That whole thing is a little ridiculous. Ian, you're Dustin, Ian, I'm sorry. Ian's Hopper. See, there's, Thank this, you, this is a very contentious typecast across the board regardless i'm obviously hopper but regardless um dustin now okay. uh, regardless ian um that is interesting is it possible that that you cameron feels betrayed he's been he's been working on you to be hopper and yet you put him in Jonathan, a betrayal, perhaps. Working the campaign he's making it out to be is such a non-campaign. I don't. Okay, you you have my back a little bit. We had a little, a little bit. bit. You're still here. Hopper, dude. Okay, don't, there can be don't, two Hoppers. Don't, don't there can be me. Hopper for H HR. Uh, when he originally said Steve, he did not make the distinction that it was the Scoops Ahoy steve i would love to wear that scoop can you outfit. agree with this ab okay yes i will say this initially started ian wasn't even in the picture i walked up and i was like oh we're being assigned roles again we should all participate who did you guys assign me i go i don't know who i'd be steve and cam flipped out he's like that's I'm that's steve. that's not the case I'm that's steve. not the case I'm like, how that's come i never get any say in who i am that's can not, i just olivia, say hold on i need olivia's input olivia's nodding hold on Everybody, go ahead and finish your thought. Okay, I just want to say, and then after I had this initial conversation, before Ian was even in the argument, the girls say, well, if you want to be Steve, then you'd have to wear something like the Chips Ahoy outfit. Are you okay with that? And that was the first time it came up, and Cam was like, <coughs> yeah, I'll do that. So Can it was already in motion before the Chips Ahoy thing. That is true. Can I say, put forward, it's a little Olivia egotistical. Disagrees. Hold on. <laughs> Let me speak! <laughs> a little egotistical for you both to be putting yourselves forward as Steve. Perhaps, okay. perhaps. I, I said it like in a question. I'm like, I don't even know. Who of I'd course, be. you would say, "Oh, I'm Steve, right?" The popular guy. And I literally guy. said, after seeing how much it means to Cam, and ask Cam, I've been riding for him to be Steve since. I'm betraying him a little right now. So but. why don't why don't you just put forward that you're Dustin or you know? I literally Dustin said Ethan. I never. They wanted to make you me look good. Let's we can debate. that. I was like, but. you guys never <laughs> let me get any cool or funny character. I asked for either Will or Barb at this point. That's all I want. One and of those. Ab, two. Ab, may I may I also add. They were going to cast you as Billy, and you were against that completely. Yeah, because why and do I I'm always got to be the abuser or something? Hmm. I don't see I just think I, I, I'm with both you guys. I think Cam is being a little forward. But also, I agree with Cam that I feel like we all should participate in uh, choosing who we we're going to be. Maybe have a, a group discussion. I'm fighting for what's right. You know who would do that? Steve. All right. Well, and regardless. We need Olivia's input here. So regardless, um, yeah, Olivia, how did it? Because so Ian says that you, by no authority vested in you, 
proclaimed Cam to be Steve. Did she's you make the, that proclamation? She's the resident theater kid. She knows so, how to Cam? think. Cam? Yes. Please. I, I would like to believe that I think that I was present at the origin conversation where this all started. Because we were talking about someone being bald and someone being bald on Stranger Things. And then we were like, oh my God, what a great idea. And then I said something along the lines of like, who would I be? And then I was like, oh. And then Sam and I think, I don't, I yeah, think Sam and I, I the, were like Robin. The whole thing started between me and Olivia. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, the Scoops Ahoy outfit. And my brain obviously showed me Cam in the Scoops Ahoy outfit because that makes sense to me. But if anybody else wants, and, and, and I very quickly posed that idea to Cam and I said, would you want to wear the Scoops Ahoy outfit? And he said, I would love to. And then I think the conversation that AB is talking about. And then about at what that. point did you enter this conversation and be like, yo, what's going on here, Ian? I'm saying that Days at the later. time, no, you are so off. At the time, Cameron was put, putting forth, I'm like the macho Chad of the office, and that's why I'm Steve. Shirtless, badass, like Is jean right, jacket, Cameron? sleeves cut off think, Steve. Do you I think... would say the ma macho Chad of the office is but, Ian. No, but that is not what, more that was not what was said. With Hopper's character. Macho Chad. Especially in season four I think the only ripped in the gulag. Cam no. put his chest out and said, that is me. Just yep. saying. Thank you, AB. Thank you. Hold uh, on. I got a hairy chest like Steve, too. So I think that's, that, that works, too. So do you see yourself oh. as Steve in terms of, like, the, are you a ladies' man? No, I mean, like, you're, there's characteristics there. You're I mean, cool. You're a hero. I don't I don't see any of that. But, you know, I think I'm willing to fight for what's right. I drove Ian around. For what's I drove right. Ian home yesterday. And you know who does that in the show? Steve. Yeah, there's, well, certainly, you know, there's you, certainly a lot of characters that embody that quality. Yeah, yeah. I think Jonathan Byers actually is pretty good at doing that. Yeah, sure. I remember yeah. driving someone home for a few months. Yeah. yeah, but I don't it's, consider myself. Steve. Well, guys, I think at this point, there's really no. We have three people here who see and, themselves as okay. Steve. Here's here. the thing I'm obviously I, passionate. I mean, guys, look, this. Enough. Are all three Steves prepared to wear the Scoops Ahoy outfit? Yes. That's what I'm asking. I love Cam too much. I will never be Steve. <laughs> Stop, baby. You want to be Steve. I don't. I don't. I absolutely will not. I Actually, we're going to do a, a poll. We're going to decide, and the results is binding. I have a photo, if you want to bring it up, that is the definitive casting of the crew. Nope, we're going to do this poll first. That. Nice try, Ian. Nope, it's, it's real. I think the poll is worth showing. I mean, the. Uh, we're going to do a definitive poll, and the results are binding. Do you all agree to this? Between Ian, Cam, and AB to be Steve. I don't want to be Steve. I, I wanted to be you're Hopper. I'm kind of at it. I, I think Ian should be Hopper. Wait, so who do you Still. think should be Steve then? I don't even think, if you show my casting, I don't think anyone is Steve. There's no Steve? No. I'm Steve. You're not Steve. <laughs> You're Dustin. You're Dustin. You're Dustin. Stop saying that. You're I like Dustin. I mean, Dustin's cool and stuff, but I like Dustin. <laughs> Stop saying that. Let's just talk about it a little bit before you start saying who I am. Look, I will concede that if Cam wants to be Scoops Ahoy Steve, he can be Scoops Ahoy Steve. Thank you. Wait, so who I wants to be to Steve be. here? AB, Cam, and then... I. It's I'm okay. You said it. You put it forward. Just make it interesting. It's okay. Yeah. Just to make it interesting. So, Ian, you want to be Hopper, not Steve? No, I don't want to be Steve. I don't want to be Yuri. Well, and you're Yuri. You are Yuri. I don't want to be Yuri. All right. Let's take the poll then. Um, Ian, Cam, and AB. Who is Steve? I thought you wanted to be Steve, too. No, I don't want to be Steve. I'm obviously not Steve. I'm not even going to fucking pretend like I'm Steve. I just don't, for the you know, love of God, if I don't get Steve, I think it should just be for between, the love of God, don't make me Jonathan. It should be between love, AB and Cam. Put a poll who is Steve. Or, well, maybe maybe a better poll is who is Cam? The, hold on. Yeah, do who is Cam. Who is Cam? Is it Steve or is it Jonathan? It's or Will. Fuck no, come on. No. Or the Cameron, Demogorgon. Cameron, Cameron, the results are binding. Okay? Or Mike. I mean, no. let's if we're really going to cast him, cast him, he'd be a great Mike, I think. Which one's Mike? The main kid? Part? I did think that also. Wait, uh, Mike's the L's boyfriend. L's boyfriend. I'll, okay, okay. I'll so be, let's add Mike. I'm willing to be anybody but the buyer's boy. Like you in that Hawaiian shirt with the okay. with the little spinny top. That guys, the wore. result is going to be binding here. We have we have Mike, Jonathan, and Steve. Who do you guys see Cam as? And this is binding, Cameron. You agree to that? Yeah, we got to. We have to resolve this. I agree to it. I agree okay, to these thank terms. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, so we also should show Ian's 
typecast at some point to show We will. Us. Yeah, yeah, we will. And I'll pull up this image after this. So, Cameron, we're going to resolve this now via the democratic process. And Ian, you're going to agree to this as well. I agree. Can we shake hands on it? We shake hands, yes. Look at this. This is human resource. Or Mike, yeah. Could we also do a poll if I'm Yuri or Hopper? We I could, yeah. also yeah. determine this. Yeah, we can do that. Great. Good shake. But when they vote, they should keep in mind the Scoops Ahoy outfit, I would say. Yeah. Because it would be so cute. Maybe you're the slowest poll enter of all time. I'm not doing it. Love's doing it. Oh, Love's doing it. Sorry, Love. You're doing great. You say, sorry, me too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're <Yay. back>. so. <laughs> All right, here's the poll. Um, what are you guys doing? Guys, calm the Hey, come on, guys. We're resolving conflicts over here. All right, so so um, we have the results here. Who is Cam? Get your votes in. Is he Steve, John, or Mike? Get your Scoops ahoy, Steve. Scoopy Steve. Get your or your get your votes in. This is this is binding now. Okay, now what do you think is the result going to be, Cameron? The Demogorgon? The Demogorg? I don't think that was an option. Just kidding. Uh, hopefully, Steve. <coughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, it's coming in. You're actually at 59% Steve. Thank you. Thank you, chat. I love the chat. And can we do one for Ian? Too? Yeah, we'll do one for Ian. So Cameron actually cleaned it up. I think the people agree. People love Cameron. Camely runs deep. And if the people have spoken, I have to agree with them. Yeah, so I mean, it's dem I'm democratically happy for elected you, Cam. Steve. I got good news for you too, buddy. The people love you. So. They, they will fuck me over. Just well, like let's Yuri. see. So so uh, Ian wants to be Hopper, the pinnacle of masculine yes. energy. I see The it. man. Yes. Or Yuri, the little scumbag freak. <laughs> All right. Are we getting that ready, love? Is that you? Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right. So, so these are binding. So Cameron, congratulations. You are Steve. Thank you very much, chat. Thanks for watching. Which we love for you. Real quick, can I point out my uh, Gamersup bottle matches my shoes? Oh, that's sick. I love that bottle. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right, so the votes are coming in. Is Ian Hopper or Yuri? It's close at the moment. I don't want to spoil They're it for you. They're going to fuck me. I know. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you, Ian, but uh, it is close, so... Blood, this should be a blowout for Hopper. This is binding. It's not going to be a blowout. Guys, please get your votes in now. If you're passionate about this, Ian is Hopper. Camely is tainted the Yuri. democratic process. Come on, man. What are you, what, why are you saying about the fans? Yeah, so Ian, um, I think you'll be happy to find out. 55% say you're Hopper. What? So everyone's having their dreams fulfilled here today. You guys both came out pretty Beautiful. clean on this one, huh? Wow. Awesome. There you go. Is that nice? You guys feel good? I feel great. I feel good. You I both feel got good your dream it. characters. This this was really nice. I feel great. That's nice. Who's AB gonna be? Well, let's open the casting thing that you that we put together. What, how did you decide on this type casting? This was just things that felt right to me. Okay, so this is from the mind of Ian. Yeah. Okay, so AB is this psycho brother. Dan is L. Yeah, that makes sense. Interesting. All right, all right. Ian is Hopper. Of course. I'm Dustin. Dustin, easy. That's probably the easiest one, I think, to determine. Cameron is Jonathan, which nope. we've disproven here. We've today. disproven that. I mean, these ones are easy. Olivia's, what's her face, and Robin. Sam is what's her face. My is answer by my wife is Bob Newby. Yeah, I mean, I love. It's Bob a personality. Newby, it's the personality. Okay, <laughs> I, 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 Zach, what? I got, okay, Ian, I got beef with this, man. I, I knew Zach yeah, was going to be unhappy about this. Hold that. on, hold on. This is right on, Zach. I'm no, sorry. it is Ian, not. Yes, it is, bro. Ian no, it is not. Bro. Ian, did I not ride for you for Hopper? Wait, who do you want to be, Zach? I, wanna, I feel I'm fucking Eddie. Oh, Eddie? So we, we can do a poll on that one, a conflict resolution on that one. Ian, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> You I'm sorry. Me. I I had to be a little bit of a jury when making this. Oh, I you, told you man. fucking asshole! Well, crazy? okay. One one beef is resolved. The new one is born. And also me. I don't want to be Bob Newby. Well, actually, <laughs> Lena, if I may defend this choice, <laughs> mm -hmm. Bob has a pure soul. Bob he's helpful. Supportive. He's dependable. He's the man. Bob dies. Uh, uh, that, 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 that's beside that's the point. To I think personality-wise. This fits, and it's a high compliment to you, you know. 
Well, how about Chrissy Cunningham? Nobody is her. Oh my god. I'd that'd love be to see so Chrissy. Cute. Yeah, now, in the see, little cheerleading outfit. Oh. Sam wants I said to, that. Sam said Chrissy, and I said, you want to make Lena the person who runs to the monster and dies immediately? You're not Chrissy. I Lena. felt like Let's that was a bit sure of a She was like a runs from the monster. First anyway. of all, I feel like Lena's more named. <laughs> Right? Or Nancy. I'll take yeah. Nancy over. <coughs> you're Bob. Bob. Lena, you're Bob. <laughs> can we, okay, can we do the Eddie poll? Like, I could just put on anything and call myself Bob. Like, <laughs> you're not you're not Chrissy. Chrissy's a mess. You know I what felt mean? like Chrissy would have been a disservice to you, Lena. And your character, Bob, has a heart of gold. That's why That's why I made the decision. I'm Bob. I'm wanna, team Bob I here. I want to be part of this hidden council. That's what I want to do. We're obviously going to have to throw a lot of these to the audience. Wait, Ian. Ian, 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 Ian. Zach, hold on one second. You fucked me, dude. Well... Whoa. Hold By the on. way, Whoa. Zach, you were out of town. They said I should be Eddie, and I was like, Zach deserves Eddie. Bullshit. Ask, ask Olivia. Eddie's not even on the board. He just got no, straight I up. No, agree. All right, guys. Hold everybody pipe down. Sam is Lena. Is that his name, Sam? Bob. Oh, yeah, because he's Sam in Lord of the Rings. Yes. Love is Vecna. That's interesting. I mean, I see the physical resemblance, certainly. I like it. Love's also kind of like a robot, you know, uh, one is a robotic character, you know. I think it's fitting. Calculating. I think it's fine. I don't really care that much. And Hila is Nancy, which I think is, is very appropriate. Now, that, that was also, uh, just to explain my Bob decision a little more, I was going to put Nancy with Lena, but then I added Hila at the last minute, and then I wasn't <laughs> sure. What to do? Ela's Ela's Nancy. Yeah, yeah, Who's I Joyce? agree with that. Well, Who's the mama? Well, I, I'm just curious. When Lena asked for Chrissy and nobody's Chrissy, how did she get Bob new? I do have an Chrissy, Chrissy doesn't though. make sense. Go ahead, Lena. Because well, she gets haunted by nightmares, and I, you know, I have the same issue, not you know, in the same way, but I also get haunted by no nightmares. What kind of well, nightmares do you get? Oh, I have like they're really bad. Similar. You have yeah. night terrors? I do a lot. Yeah, almost Did every she... night. What? Do you wake up screaming? Yeah, Not she, she screaming, beats me up sometimes. But yeah, he does say I, I have like elbowed him a few times. But even when my sister and her friend were uh, spent the week with us, they were like surprised when I sleep. Like I, how do you describe it, Av? The noises I make. The noises? I don't know. Yeah, They're all like, over the place. I'm like freaking out in my sleep. <gasps> yeah, I, I constantly do that in my sleep. They were telling me when I, when I woke up. Can I up. ask you some questions about that? Sure. Are you afraid to go to sleep at night where you're like dreading no, it? No, no, not at all. Uh, most of the time, I don't even notice it. This is just from what AB tells me. And you then don't remember also, them, the dreams? Yeah, I do sometimes because like sometimes they just feel so real. And But I, I know that I'm dreaming and I try to force myself to wake up. Like I literally try to get my eyelids to open. Just to, yeah, just to end and, the nightmare. And And... Do you recall what your dreams are of? I get a lot of Michael Myers um, nightmares. Um, but then other than that, like a lot of like end of the world type nightmares. Um, I see. Yeah, those are the most common. Zach well, that is interesting. That is certainly a, a likeness there. But I think you're Bob and I stand by that. I, I will concede if you want to be Chrissy. I only didn't put you with Chrissy because I thought, as I said, the character got shafted pretty quickly in the season. And I didn't want to put that on you, but if you embrace that character, then no, power she's Bob. To you, be Chrissy. Fair well, I mean, we, Bob dies too, King. though. Bob yeah, but not too, right but out the gate. He's a valiant defender. Yeah, Bob is the man. Chrissy just kind of gets owned. Everybody loves Bob, Lena. I kind of see Lena as Steve. <sighs> oh, stop it! We already to resolve that one. We're not going back now. Ian, we can't do Steve Steven. again. I think, taken. well, I think everything's been resolved, right? At this point, I no, think we can no, get up. No, I, I, no, no, no. Okay. It works for me. All right. Okay, so Zach, we need to do a poll on Zach and Lena, and I haven't even talked about mine. Zach could also be Dustin. Dude, he could be. Dude, <laughs> I am so Eddie. Off. Come on. All right, let's do, is Zach, what's this guy's name? Eddie. That's oh, Argyle. No. That's Argyle. Do Argyle, the pizza guy, stoner, Eddie, Eddie the rock star. Eddie the rocker or Dustin? Argyle, live at the Troubadour. Why do you fuck me, Ian? Hold on, the people will vote, Zach. Take your number, Zach. And this is binding. I just want to remind you guys that whatever uh, is the result of this, you have you agree to stand by, Zach? No. What? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> fucking not. These guys already got their dream casting. How are you going to go against the will of the people? Ian, I rode for you, dude. Such an editing Cam, to say. Or, or, Zach, this is binding. Fine. Zach's given big Actually, you know what? Energy. Do you not want it to be binding? You can decide. I want to be Eddie. Yeah, exactly, bro. No, it's not binding, so you're not Eddie. See? 
That's what happens when you don't trust thought people. <laughs> yeah, overwhelming people are saying Eddie, and but Zach doesn't doesn't trust you guys. He doesn't want to be oh Eddie. Oh my god! So we're gonna give him Dustin. Nope, Eddie it is. <laughs> you said it's not binding. I didn't say that. I said, is it binding? You said absolutely not. Did oh, anyone else hear that? Come on. We're having a good time. It's all good timey jokes. <laughs> it's an old timey joke, Ethan. Yeah, so. So, what is Zach's Eddie costume going to be? He's just going to walk in the leather jacket that he wears every day? <laughs> the same outfit. There you go. So, he's Eddie. Long hair. Dude, it's the fucking issue here. I don't know. Isn't it fun to dress up as someone else? All right, so Zach. Zach yes, is sir. Eddie. Thank you. Thank too you. Too bad people. it's not binding. Nope. Thank you, people no, of the world. We bad. live in a democratic society. Thank you so much. You we live amazing. in a society. We live in a society. We certainly do. I, I, Zach, I'm. So, I picked this one because, frankly, trying to get you to participate with this segment was like pulling teeth. <coughs> I kept saying, "I need, I need arguments for this segment." He goes, "I don't have any arguments with anybody." <laughs> but Zach, Dan and I spoke about Zach argues with everyone all the time. When we need everything. about everything, when I we need keep him to, you fuckers on your toes. When that's we why. need him to argue for a segment, he's like, I, I actually have no beef or issues with anyone. This ever. sounds like an HR issue on its own. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Z I'm Zen Zach. Okay. Yeah, uh, when the one day we need you to be argumentative, Zach, <laughs> you're Zen. Zach. So I picked this to to get. He's you a contrarian. He's yes. whatever you don't need. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's the well, said. well said. All right. Well, he's Jonathan. Whatever he is, Eddie. I mean, Eddie, sorry. Eddie. So uh, let's do Lena next. We just got to get to the root of all this. We have Samwise Gamgee. Bob. Chrissy. Or Chrissy, basically, right? So yeah. here we go. Only Bob you and Chrissy. You guys know what to do. <laughs> you guys know what to do. <laughs> Lena is rocking the vote, ladies and gentlemen. Is it only Bob and Chrissy? We're going to go. That's it. Now I, now, I don't think it's an insult, but I really think you're Bob. And I don't mean, and I think, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. That is lovely. I mean, I'm not nothing against Bob, but also like aesthetically, what's very there's nothing distinctive about him, the, uh, costume wise. Mm -hmm. What if you dress as Chrissy? It doesn't but matter. You know that you're Bob. You it's know what soul, I mean? dude. It's about the yeah. soul, the essence. So the votes are coming in. Let's see the people. This is binding, Lena. So. Oh yeah, the people voted Chrissy. People are really not. People are really. You guys are nice, man. You guys are delivering <laughs> the <you> results. <laughs> Requested results. This is really something. Now there's really only one left, right? There's me. Think, yeah. Who do you think you are? Oh shit, I don't know. Dustin, obviously I'm either I'm either Steve, obviously. No, I, I mean we don't do a poll, but I'm not being the racist dude. Just just put that out there. Racist? Yeah, Billy's a fucking racist. Oh yeah, oh. AB doesn't want to be Billy either. So I see I'm you wanna vote you wanna do it? We can contest it. Surprising nobody's contesting Dan being L. No, because that just is right. That's yeah, it right. Works. It just is. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. L saves their asses all the time. That's Dan. <laughs> I love that for him. He saves us. Plus, it'd be so funny to see him in a dress. With Dan in that hospital gown, putting his hand out like, "Stop." So, love. so either I am. <laughs> oh, you guys are saying I'm Papa. That's cruel. Stop. <laughs> That's fucked up. Why would you guys even say that? <laughs> so either I'm obviously Steve, the badass Chad who but gets all the girls and it's charming and right awesome. Now. Unfortunately, it's that has, the people have spoken. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Or Hopper, the process. alpha male who's always saving not the day. That's no, that, that's determined. that's Ian. See, I still ride for you, brother. Well, the people Thank are gonna you, speak on Ian, it. Where were you on? I mean, Zach, where were you riding oh, for me? Oh fuck you! I always said you were Steve. I I didn't hear it once. <laughs> on guys, this guys, show. guys, please, we gotta focus. So either I would say I'm. Hopper, Steve. I think you're Dustin or Barb, probably. Who's Barb? <laughs> Mr. Clark. He would be a great Barb. Mr. Clark is Mr. also Clark. Who's yeah. Mr. Clark? Let me type that. I don't know all these names you guys know. Mr. Clark. It's Mr. Actually... Clark was the teacher the first season who like showed them the line and how they can get to different dimensions. You're our leader. You're our thought uh, leader. Papa's in the house. He's not this black dude, is he? No. It's okay. the guy with the mustache. Papa's in the house! Oh, no. Okay, Randy all right. Havens. I mean, sure, whatever. I think, Bar I think Barb. Search Barb. <laughs> Papa's in the house. Barb? I don't know who this is. Rip Barb, dude. Justice for Barb. Who's Barb? I'll be fucking Barb. She died in the food. She deserves <laughs> justice. Well, Steve and Nancy were getting on. Bob, Barb was a. Uh, you know. Hey, what about the um? What's the kid? The boyfriend of the redhead girl's, uh, Lucas, little sister. 
Oh. Billy? No, Lucas no, no, is no, little no. sister. What's her name? Uh, little hacker ass. Max. No, 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 no. no, no, no she's no, in no. the the Hellfire Club. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's uh, uh Lucas's little sister. Lucas little sister. Erica. Yep. Yeah, I'm feeling maybe Erica. For you. And and specifically just that Papa's I'm a little girl. <laughs> Papa's a, no, Papa's I'm feeling Erica. Papa's I could a, do that. You could also be Winona Ryder. We'll not Walk be doing with. blackface, by the way, just a disclaimer. <laughs> just want I mean, to if that Cam could there. be Steve, you could be Erica. <laughs> Wait, who's Erica? Wow, now? dude. <laughs> Great joke, dude. No wonder nobody laughs at him. Oh! oh, 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 oh let's go. Oh, that's, wow. that's Steve energy right there, Cam. That you are Steve, bro. Damn, you proved me wrong. You are Steve, man. All right, so so what's my poll? I don't know. Uh, Hopper, Actually, I was just Steve, nervous. I could be 11, too. I'll take that. Um, Dustin. Um, um, I could be the uh, the cool jock that wants to kill everybody. What what if you're Vecna? Just throwing that out there. I don't see the Vecna, personally. I'm Vecna. Oh, okay. Um, Sorry, AB. I love you. you okay, know, so Erica, Steve, it. Hopper, Dustin. Steve wouldn't apologize. Good? Yeah, yeah. No Obviously, I'm Hopper, either. but go no, ahead. No one's been Wolf Hard either. Yeah, and not Dustin's not an option. I like Dustin; he's cool, smart. Dustin is an funny, option, charming, for sure. Charismatic, cool, yeah. great guy. Uh, but I, I guess you should add Papa too. I don't know why people are saying Papa. That's fucked up. Wait, kill the pole. Kill the pole. We gotta add Papa. It won't Papa's fit. A, oh, won't fit. Papa's You're in the house. Mad. I voted Erica. All right, stop. Dustin it. is winning. All right, now do. All right, you guys are fucking lame. It's like it's Dustin. Why you guys hook everyone up on me? Democratic uh, decision. Stupid lameos. Do Papa versus Dustin? I'd rather be Papa. Papa rules. <laughs> Papa bless. All right. Papa's, in the Papa's a monster, Thanks. dude. Papa's a... in the house. All right, we'll do one more here. Papa versus Dustin. See where the mm. where the chips fall for me. Yeah, but obviously I am Hopper. Everyone's just doing a joke here on me. Mm, I don't think <laughs> it's a bad poll. It is a bad poll. Thank you, love. I All right, one more, one more. Papa versus better. Dustin, <laughs> and we'll see where the chips fall. Okay, oh, wow. Papa's. Pa it's close. You guys want me to be Papa? You want me to be the psychopathic, maniacal freak? He's got a great hairline, too. That though. turns me on. Okay, that's a good point. He does have a really that good hairline. That is true. That is very true. It's narrowing. Papa versus Dustin. It's a close one <laughs> here, guys. Who, who, who do you want to be, Ethan? Like, if you if you could choose, who would you want to be? No, I don't think I'm Hopper. Um, if I could answer honestly... Shit. Honestly? I feel like we're missing some characters too here. I, I don't, I can't picture everybody. Honestly, I don't know. But the people think I'm Papa. <laughs> yeah, Erica. I want to be Erica. But you guys didn't give that to me. I'm the only one who got fucked here. I got an HR issue with all you people at home. Why everybody get the person they want and I don't get Erica? I get Papa, the psycho. Okay, Papa wins. That's now the game. I'm pissed. So this every sucks, dude. Papa's in the house. Everyone is resolved, right? Except A B, right? Who, who do you want to be? Papa. Who do you want, A B? I mean, I don't. Will maybe or Barb. <laughs> Something <laughs> fun. I could see you being Will, honestly. And it's not that bad. What's your hesitation with Billy? He's a racist. Just like you, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Billy's just like, you know, like, <laughs> like strong and good looking and... Oh, okay, now you're fishing for compliments. You know, it's there. not... You could be Victor Creel. It's not fun. All right, last one, guys, and we got to close the book on this. Big is A.B. It's the one in jail with no eyes. The racist dude. Is he racist? What's racist about him? Dude, he was telling Max not to hang out with Lucas. He said there's <laughs> a certain type of people you shouldn't be hanging out with. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't see that. Or I guess I forgot about that. So, a uh, racist... Uh... Bully freak. Is his name Billy? Billy. Or, uh, uh, what was it? Like, this kid? You want to be this kid? Yeah. 
You want to be Will, dude? You want to be Will? Yeah, dude. It's, Come on, Andy, just nice do it for the show. Casting. Just do it for the show. I see the vibes. I see Will. Let's do the poll. We got to move on, guys. This is so an HR disaster. Thank you for the gifted COVID related. Oh, this is COVID related. Thank you for the gifted. Hello. Sorry, guys. Uh, you said sorry, guys, but Lena is our Nancy. You're our Nancy, Lena. We love you. What about Ela? Yeah, I think it's Ela for Nancy. All right, AB, you got Will. You just tell. I'm the only one that gets fucked here. You just tell the audience what you want, and they vote for you. All right, AB's Will. All right, thank All you, right. everybody. I am the only one left with conflict here, but thank you. Let's, thank you, let's, guys. Let's trust Fall. But wait, who? Tr I trust Fall on you. The good news here is that AB, or sorry, Ian and Cam have really, I feel, come to a happy, a happy close here. Very happy. Thank you, chat. Why don't you both trust Fall each other? You, you probably put down the. You want to hold the gamer stuff? Okay. All right. Stop, 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 Wait, stop. no, no, no. You catch him and then you guys switch. All right. So. When are you talking? To okay. Yeah, three, two, one. Oh, that's trust. That was beautiful. Switch. That was really beautiful, you guys. Don't look back. Oh, yeah. He didn't. He got you. He's got you, man. He didn't let you fall a little bit. People are saying I'm Murray. Now, guys, make up your mind. Basically, I'm just the dumbest, lamest characters. Period. Ugly. Freak. You guys basically just calling me a freak. No, Dustin's a sweet kid. He's beautiful. Dustin soul. Rock. Yeah, Dustin is the great. He's the best character. Mm -hmm. He's a beautiful soul. He really is. Which is why you're so excited. But I'm not Dustin anymore. I'm Papa. Oh, right, right, the right. The polar opposite. What, are you just going to wear a suit? <laughs> I don't know. At least I got the hair for it. You need to wear a suit and tell Dan what to do all day. And he has to call, and he has to call you Papa. Basically, <laughs> the only difference is I'm not wearing a suit. Wait, with me is... Uh, 11. Is 11? Yeah, you have to call him Papa. I see. I guess I, and you gotta call him daughter. I haven't seen the later seasons of the show, so I don't know who you a lot of these people are. What the fuck are you waiting for? That was a good season. Great season. Is Damn. Daddy? I just... Daddy. I thought the third season sucked, and I, I got out of it, so... Okay. I haven't picked it back I up gotcha. yet. All right, up next... This is a lot of conflict here. Zach and me, apparently. I don't know what um, beef... I, I wanted to throw out there, if you wanted to get to these other stories today... We might need to save these other beefs for another Whoa, session because we have been going for three hours already. Okay, yeah, let's do these on maybe on Monday because we still have Zach versus me, Dan versus me. So apparently, I'm just gonna be <laughs> well throwing in the. I don't necessarily here. know. I was gonna talk about that when mine came up because I I don't I don't really have any beef to to resolve with you. What was it gonna be? Uh, well, that was actually just like kind of a last minute thing. My I was going to call out Zach for what Ian was talking about earlier. The fact that he was dragging his feet and he didn't want to argue with anybody. But then he finally gave in and he does have an argument for you, Ethan. So it, it became kind of moot at that point. What's I get up, along Ethan? with everyone. I, I am the Zen master. I, I don't got no issues with okay. nobody. Okay, fine. So we have. So basically it's just me and Zach then. Yeah. Zach, can we save this till um? Yeah, that's Monday? fine. That's fine, yeah. Okay. In the interest of getting to more stories. What's up, Tater Tots? Yo, let me get some... Where's your daddy? Let me get some I Love Tates in the chat over on TikTok. Big Daddy Tate. Let's go. It's your girl. It's your girl. All right, so moving on. Uh, we got... Basically, I want to look at Austin McBroom. His fight was put on by Triller. You fucking like that shit? <laughs> Love it. So I'm not pulling any clips. Why? Or wait, I am pulling clips. Well, mm. we're not fucking mm. with Trilla. I don't know what to do because there are clips here. There's just one clip. There's one there. clip. I don't think it's worth it. He's what is he? How's he gonna sue me for showing this? I mean, he did once before. <laughs> there, there's that. <laughs> I'll just scroll through it. Yeah, you you can see how empty the seats are basically. I mean, this is like a twenty thousand. Oh, that's that one's just a cell phone video. That's yeah, fine. Okay, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a 20,000 seat arena. It's empty, bro. 
empty. There's probably a thousand people in there. Nobody and half of them are the production crew. We chill. <laughs> <clears throat> This dude said I had more people at my dog's birthday party. Here's a tweet showing the empty seats. Oh my goodness, dude. Yo. There is nobody there. Uh, here's Austin's. Yeah, we didn't realize it was being run by Triller, but I'm sure this was a financial disaster, right? Like... It have to be. It has to be. I mean, I love that Triller ran this man. That's just my favorite. Ryan Cavanaugh knows how to do it. <laughs> Fight by Triller. Yeah, the man knows Triller. how to make money. It's another like twenty million down the drain from his fresh two hundred million investment round. Oh, Drive yeah. angry. Drive angry, indeed. Yeah, but the best part about it was basically that. Uh, he got absolutely fucking dominated. I mean, absolutely destroyed. I think people were actually worried he got injured. Um, he definitely seemed to be concussed. I read somewhere that he went to the hospital afterwards, but this influencer fighting stuff is actually, it just shows how dangerous it is. Because this guy, Gibb, I think, really could have or did seriously injure him i can show this because this is like a cell phone you think yeah as long as it's not the official broadcast it's it was from tiktok and uh yeah it's not official broadcast yeah so um guys if you want to see the whole fight obviously you can go pay for it and watch the whole thing this is for uh you know just report i'm just trying to report the news here i mean you know current events and stuff so uh, here's just a short 20 second clip from this very long, hour long uh, event. Hours long event. I'm just gonna mute it. I don't care about the sound. Um, yeah, and he knocked him down. What's crazy is that the ref is kind of insane. He kept it going. He got knocked down like five times. Look at that, dude. That was a kill shot right there, man. Yeah, that was brutal. So, Gibb actually super impressive. The thing that made it even better, do you have that picture? Austin knocked him down first. I think Gibb was just unbalanced and fell over. And he's standing over him like Muhammad Ali, thinking he's like the shit. He was, Damn. Do we have that photo? Fucked him up. You can find it. I know what you're talking about. Because it makes his defeat that much sweeter. Really, it does. Um, look at that, dude. Yeah, Austin looked horrible. Like, I think Austin beat Bryce Hall and thought he was the shit. And I don't think he prepared much for this fight. But here's all five of his knockouts. We're not going to show the video. Knockdowns. The knockdowns. I'm not showing the video because because Ryan, you can suck my fat fucking tiny ass, fat but also tiny <laughs> Jewish cock. You know. So here you got knocked down once, twice, blood boiling, three times, <laughs> four times, five times. Yeah, dude, it was a massacre. It really Jesus. was a I, massacre. I read something that said you could literally hear on the stream Catherine McBroom's like blood curdling screams every time he would get knocked down. Oh, I'd be scared. I'd I'm be the scared. only one terrified. in the audience. So. No, he, I, I that's. I think that's the biggest beating I've seen since Fusi Two got his face yeah, pushed in by. You mean a few weeks ago? No, the first no, the time. first one oh, was right, way right, worse. Right. The first time right. that happened, I felt worthless. This is worse than Fusi's recent loss, honestly. I felt ugly. Yeah, I wish I could show you guys the videos, but I'm just I'm trying to not get. I'm already got like three losses going, and I'm just trying to chill a little bit on that. Only two now, right? Well, well, we're waiting to see if Andrew Tate sues me. Oh, right. Okay. I feel like I we would have heard by now, maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe, that's that's maybe he's thinking. taking a minute to draft. I mean, he's a crypto attorney, probably doing a lot of research on what it, trying to define he's what the bar right is. now. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> My neck. He doesn't exactly. exist. But um, pretty cool, especially considering when you see 
Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a super I can't high res find, photo I can't here. Find high res. I've been Thank looking. you, bro. I can't find it. I've been looking. This, this looks like a frame so from uh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat 1995. <laughs> no one, no one cares about this. It's all. Yeah, there's not a ton of media coverage. Get over here! Well, it made it that much sweeter. You know, I didn't feel bad for Austin at all because, like I said, he knocked him down in the first round, and he's like, "What? What? I'm gonna fuck you up!" Like, and he just got massacred after that, man. Idiot. Yeah, so that was good. That was pretty entertaining. I think everybody was happy about that. Um. Yeah, it was reported that McBroom went straight to the hospital to get his dome checked out. It was supposed to be at the Crypto Arena. Then it moved to the Bank of California Stadium, an even bigger stadium, so that they could have a thousand people there. Interestingly, Philip DeFranco took this opportunity, friend of the show and skinny legend, to tap dance on Austin's grave, bro. He came out with some crazy receipts. He's got beef with Austin McBroom, and, well, I'm here for it. Like I said, I'm here for it. Exploited his audience and family like that way because, I mean, this man wanted to fight me for $3 million, more like three cents. But also, <laughs> for being honest, KSI went so easy on McBroom compared to the rest of the internet. And I understand why the internet would react that way because, I mean, he's he's a villain. Whether it be all the cocky bullshit he was saying to Gib before the fight, or if you want to talk about quality of character stuff, people looking about how he's exploited his audience and family, and regarding audience, why so many people have called him a scammer. You know, a number of those things are connected to why I'm feeling so petty right now, but, and I don't know if I've ever publicly Whoa. talked about this. In addition, yo, I got suspended on TikTok. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what Let's did we go. Do? You did... cannot go live as a host from 921. I've essentially been banned from Twitter. I've essentially been banned. <laughs> but I got live access revoked for bullying and harassment? What on earth? Tate Tate w, Simon the, Cowell, maybe? Tate Tate, comment Tate W, comment Tate W, <laughs> L, L3, L3. Bullying and harassment? I wish they'd give me more. What the? Simon Cowell put in a complaint. Oh, uh, you were bullying Simon. It. Twitter's a rat hole. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I didn't feel like I was bullying anyone. I barely said anything about Tate. I think it's because you said Lena was Bob. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, that could be, right, I, see, I, I think it's because AB made me fall over. That's true. That could no, no been. one cares about that. I think it was because uh, talking about Simon. You think yeah. Simon? I can't bully Simon? He's a powerful man. Very powerful man. That was a joke, Club. A lot of people care. Hey, this says I got 97% more views than hosts with similar following. Check us out. Unbelievable. The Simon sends his regards. Average watch time, 58 seconds. Let's go. 50 Super seconds, Super engaging. Huh? Wow. I think that's a lot for TikTok. Well, it's also not the most riveting content when it's just... They probably can't hear anybody but you. It's horrible. They can't see the screen. It's horrible. That's <laughs> yeah, horrible. Ah, ah, ah. Um, or they, yeah, the tater tots just mass reported What does this you. mean? It says it diamonds, 41,000 diamonds. What does that mean? <gasps> 41,000? That's people giving diamonds? you... Dude, like gifts. Diamonds. But isn't a diamond like one penny? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> what's 41,000 pennies? Uh, 41,000. Is that $400? You can but check that actually your. Actually, is like for if it's if it really is a penny, yeah. It's a penny, yeah. You can check your balance. Four hundred bucks in your TikTok wallet. It's pretty good. Yeah. Really, four hundred dollars, you guys? And then it says gifters a hundred. Wait, I'm trying to figure out what just. You can happened. go to stream statistics, and you're gonna see exact exactly how much you made. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the gifted. Yo, this is pretty interesting. We had 151 gifters. Shout out. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is so interesting. <laughs> Live center. Let's see. Um, I want to find out this. How do I find this out? Diamonds? Gifters? Shit. Live analytics. Let's see. Somebody's saying the TikTok comments got flooded with hateful tater tots right before it was blocked. Oh, were the tater tots report? But, 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 but for who? You know what I mean? They. I think I just got mass reported by tater tots. It could be. I, I absolutely think that's what it is. Dude, I just, I can't get a break on TikTok, man. It sucks. Well, <laughs> I they, love TikTok. That's oh the God. shame of it. It's a dog shit platform, dude. It sucks. I love it. I can't figure out how to figure out how much donations I got there, but thank okay. you guys. Wait, wait, go go to your profile tab on the bottom right. So not in the live center? No, 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 no. Okay. 
Okay, so profile, yeah. Uh, then go to the top right of that with the three lines. Yeah, creator tools. Uh, go to settings and privacy. Oh, settings and privacy. And then go under balance. And that should tell you how much balance. So that's a very intuitive place to have it in the privacy tab. Yeah, what? It says it's a I great have. App. And it'd be under gift revenue. Dude, live gifts, it says <laughs> 288 bucks, dude. Wow. It's. You know what I'm going to do with this, guys? I'm going to convert this all to coins and then give it all to Zach next time he's live. Oh, that's very sweet of you. I Thank love you. Making it rain on Zach when he's live. Oh, I appreciate that. He Thank goes live you. on TikTok, huh? I thought he just did that on Instagram. One night I was just on the sh I was on the shitter, <laughs> and Zach was live, and I just I dropped like fifty dollars, and you could Yo! tap it so many times. I was just fucking tapping that shit like crazy. <laughs> his, like, his lives are great too. He puts on a full concert. So. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it was fun. I liked it. Appreciate that. But uh, uh, fifty dollars from. Ballers from thank you, Ethan and for many years of wonderful uh, content. Hello. Uh, I think it would be so cute for the dogs to be demagogues for Halloween. That I love. Oh, that's yep. Cool. Actually, Simon Cal sent this to TikTok, and I'm pretty sure this is what got us banned for bowling. The X Factor. Damn, that's, that's a good that? one, Cam. Damn, and that's how he was able to last through the prolapse, just because. He was protected by the Godfather. The X is where your body will be buried. Cameron Cameron walked in here this morning and he's like, he's like, I'm smart. I'm smart, Mike. I can do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to Phil. To me thinking that he does a lot of fucked up stuff on the internet. This motherfucker years ago when my oldest was younger. And I wasn't there, he didn't realize that this kid that he was filming was my son, Trey. But he saw this crying child at a haircut, was like, that's gonna be content. And posted my son to his story, I forget if it was his story or his Snapchat. And he shot it in this way to be like, look at this child that's losing it, and then look at my angels. Mocking and filming my son without permission while he was like freaking out because he has a sensitivity to sound. And so that, which I've held inside since then, is part of the reason I'm so glad this scumbag guy uh, dropped, especially at a fucking failure of an event where the great majority of people that are even aware of it are aware of it because you've been fucking memed, you loser. <sighs> Yo. Damn. That's pretty slimy. Who makes fun of a kid in public? And the fact that it ended up being Phil's kid is crazy. Um, and also shout that's out that's Ryan that's Kamen that's for hosting another disastrous fucking event. Yo, what a loser that guy is. I just cannot emphasize what a fucking loser Ryan Kavanaugh is. That L's man on top has of L's. He has never succeeded at anything. Uh, no. Except, well, repulsing women, getting right. cucked. Repulsing um, women, yeah. Getting blocked by Natalie Portman. Getting blocked by Natalie Portman. Uh, Drunk driving. Right. Wet yeah. and rocky. He's a two-time champ. Two-time, baby. The two-time. He's king of having his own personal driver. Because right. he can't drive a car. Yep. And now. Probably the... Pro I, I don't know this for a fact, but I would hazard a guess king of holes in the drywall in his oh, house. Maybe he's got to get in the ring. Yeah. Um, Too much wine, sorry. King of wanting to fuck 14-year-old Natalie Portman. Right. I have an inappropriate relationship. Were you able to find that video, Natalie though? Portman. I was kind of curious to see it, if it's like out there, of Austin making fun of Phil's kid. We could blur Phil's kid's face. I looked a little bit. I was coming up totally empty-handed. I mean, Phil seemed to indicate it. He he wasn't sure if it was a Snapchat, and if it was a Snapchat from like four or five years ago, I mean that shit is probably long gone. But if anybody out there in the audience uh, knows the, of this being archived somewhere, that's super interesting, Phil. Well, there you have it. Love to see it. I hope that there's a conflict between Triller and him at least, where like Ryan Kavanaugh stiffs Austin. That'd be my favorite. Dude. That'd be so good. <laughs> and I'm sure it will happen, frankly, if one of them does owe each other money. Somebody's getting stiff for that. Hundred <laughs> percent. I don't know who it is, but somebody is getting oh, stiff. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. Finally, uh, we've been going forever, but I do want to talk about this. I've been putting off forever. Dom, dirty Dom, at long Jeff last, can eat made a video about me. This man is still showing his face on the internet. Can you believe that? It's pretty incredible stuff. Um, here he is, Dominique exposes H3 and Jeff Wittick. You ready to be exposed? I don't know, man. I'm you pretty prepared? nervous. 
This, of course, is Dirte Dom, former vlog member who famously got massively uh, exposure after being credibly accused of R-wording a girl in a David Dobrik blog. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a friend of uh, AB, right? Friend of the show, in a way? AB him saw him on the street once. I met him once. You guys took a photo together, right? Before he was an R-worder, yep. Didn't he like your pants? Yep. Yeah, I remember that. He liked yep, your pants. Yep, yep. Now, but when you took that photo, <laughs> did you know about the VidCon thing or no? No. But I uh, didn't know about the R word. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I didn't know anything. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not accusing you of anything. But okay, here we go. Brace yourselves, guys. Ethan, talk about David Dobrik and <laughs> Dom. For some reason, this guy, Ethan, keeps making videos about me. He's been making videos about me for two years. Met the guy Bro, once I haven't in the past. Did he just uploaded this like a, last week. I haven't talked about you. I haven't thought about you in like a year since the drama happened. Well, right? you, you talk about him with Jeff. With Jeff. That's, that's why he's. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, where this is coming from. Okay, okay. Stop but talking outside, about me, bro. Out, outside of that, I don't think you've talked Yo, about Yo, stop him talking about me, bro. Dude, you're an R word. Shut up. You need to be on like a registry. You need to stop talking about me and go talk to your neighbors. <laughs> as is legally required of you. <laughs> on a, you know, sex offenders registry. Singh never had any bad exchanges with him. He was a very nice guy to me. Nothing bad happened. Oh, this is super weird. Wait, let me go back. For some reason, this guy, Ethan, keeps making videos about me. He's been making videos about me for two years. Met the guy once in passing. Never had any bad exchanges with him. He was a very nice guy to me. Nothing. I have never met this man. Yeah, where is that? I have never met this man. Ever. Was he Was he maybe thinking of you, A.B.? That just no, he, no, he wouldn't have I known didn't work for you. I have just never kid on Hollywood Boulevard. Wait, wait, wait. You man. had a... You met... David once was he there with the whole squad? Oh, Did I don't he? remember. I met David a long time ago at the creator yeah, some event in YouTube New York. event thing, All right? I don't remember meeting Dom. I mean, I don't think Dom was there. It was just David. I, David, they didn't invite the whole vlog squad. It was David and Liza was there, and I All right. both. I don't think even Jason was there. Oh, did Jason was there? Jason was there. I don't know when else it could have been. Bro, I have never fucking met you. But even if I did, like this is like, yo, I met him once. He didn't talk shit to me then. I can't believe this guy would lie through his teeth. I know, I know. It is shocking. But it's just such a weird lie. Jeff Whittick and Ethan talk about David Dobrik and Dom. What's funny about for that? For some reason, this guy Ethan keeps making videos about me. He's been making videos about me for, for two years. Reason. Met the guy once in passing. Never had any bad exchanges with him. He was a very nice guy to me. Nothing bad happened. Oh, so this whole thing, of, I was such a nice guy to him. That, that I've never met him. Like he, If he was at Creator Clash and I don't remember, and was maybe just like, hey, I'm Ethan. I didn't even know who they were. I didn't know anything about the vlog squad even there. I barely knew anything about about David Dobrik. There, I don't, I didn't, I only learned about this guy once the story came out. I didn't even know anything about it. But he keeps trying to push a fucking narrative of me online and bully me online. Jeff too. Jeff said a bunch of fucked up mean things when all- Yeah, dude, you, you're right. I'm trying to bully you offline. You need to get offline. <laughs> if what, if, bull, if bullying an R-worder to get off YouTube is, is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Or something. The shit went down, and I never, I never said one bad thing about him. I never mentioned anything bad about him. Uh, this just shows how fucking perverted his thinking is. It's like, yo, I never said anything bad about you. So how, why are you gonna blast me for being an R word? It's like, what does that have to do with anything, dude? Yo, this guy, dirt, this guy, Dom was super nice to me once. So I'm just gonna let that R word slide. I, I even remember, man. He was, he was one of the guys that, um, you know, really pushed me to like actually like take myself more serious you know i remember we were at saddle ranch what? one time this he's talking about jeff uh this is probably oh, one of the last jeff. times yeah. i saw everyone and he was like i thought he was um, talking about you i was like what the hell but his logic making no sense like yeah you guys used to be friends before this story came out i mean that makes total sense he goes on he says he uh here he talks more about it i'm just gonna go to the best timestamps. we're in possible because it is a long video. In there, she wants to come into the room with me. The girl, we'll call her Susie, the one that did the allegations. She comes into the room with me, and her friend comes into the room with me, right? We're in there, we're drinking, we start, you know, doing our thing, right? 
meanwhile, you know, the door keeps opening. David's looking inside. Jeff's looking inside. Everyone from the vlog squad's looking inside. Nick Antonian's looking inside. You know, if, it, if at any point something weird was going on, you don't think they would have been like, yo, what's going on? This girl. That's so stupid, bro. They, why? <sighs> the accusation is she's like passed out drunk. If she's just laying there, how are they going to know if she's passed out drunk? So dumb, bro. Literally the worst defense I've ever heard. It's passed out. Yo, Dom, what the fuck are you doing? You don't think it would have been a little... They're in a dark room. What are they, how are they going to tell? It weird? gets you don't think way anyone... worse. How? How? Okay. All right. Gets worse. According to Jeff, they faked the peeking in thing. Now, I'm going to be super honest. I know Jeff's bestie. I'm not going to accuse Jeff of it. Maybe it wasn't. But I could totally see David and others, others dudes peeking in when they're hooking up. I mean, that was like the whole point of the night. Mm -hmm. I could totally see that happening. But regardless, I don't, I think it's totally ridiculous to expect them to realize that she was like pl passed out, blackout drunk. Anyone would have felt morally obligated to be like, yo, stop. You don't think her <laughs> five other friends that were there would have been like, hey, our friend's unconscious. We should uh, probably have you stop fucking her. You don't, you don't think none, no one would have brought that up? Dude, Aren't you're like, so are guilty. Morally obligated? Isn't he morally obligated to make sure that the girl he's having sex with is cognizant and willing? Yeah, he says well, she's he lying. lying. right? Right, right, right. But, like uh, from but, his but, POV. But, I, this yeah. whole video is so angry. He's so guilty, bro. Yo, why didn't they notice that she was plastic? Out? If they, it's like you are so guilty, dude. Oh my god. Little sickos or something? Like I, I don't understand, right? We're laying there. The girl that's drunk, she starts falling asleep. Okay, she doesn't fall asleep. Busted, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. Yep. And he also, and she went and threw up afterward. It's like she was passing out. Ladies yeah, and bro. gentlemen, we got it. We got him, dude. We fucking got him. Sleep midway through having sex, right? She's not over there napping and I'm over here penetrating her, having the time of my life. I think her friend that was there for her, wouldn't you think she would be a little bit disgusted? I think she did say on the record she was disgusted and panicking. Yeah. Also, don't you dare describe the R word that you performed on someone. The, I As know, having the, the time of his life. describing it is so don't disturbing. Oh my god. The he, time he calls of her life. he basically slut shames her also later in this video. Spoiler. It is the most frustrating thing I've ever watched. Like I, I'm boiling again watching it. Yeah, this dude's disgusting, man. It's kind of insane. <laughs> Nobody's got his back. I love that. Top comment is this is literally gaslighting. Yeah, I'm glad I was I was wondering what kind of comments I'd see, but Funny to see you desperately clinging onto whatever leftover fame you have from David. Dude, you just said she was passed out. You don't think anyone that would have peeped into the room at that time and saw this unconscious girl and me there penetrating her while she's lifeless, fucking hanging there dead? You don't think they would have thought something was a- Dude, you are so fucking guilty. Oh shit, this is wild. This is kind of gnarly, actually. Uh, Dom says the reputation of being in this video is why she said that she was r-worded oh my god platforms you can imagine this girl went to school the next day that this video was posted and everyone's laughing at her giggling at her oh there's fucking Susie the slut that that slept with Dom and and had a had a threesome with her and her friend right it's fucking embarrassing dude you're going to hell you're actually going to hell dude pretty incredible stuff Imagine, imagine her mom sees this video and she's like, w "What are you? What are you doing? Like, this is this is the type of public image you want to have. How are you gonna get a job in the future if there's this video out ab about?" Bro, you seem super sympathetic to that. Why'd you fucking do it then? He's like, "Yo, obviously this ruined her life. Anyway, so earlier that night, I was trying to get five girls to come have a fivesome with me. Obviously, everyone's gonna slut shame her afterwards. You're so sensitive about it. Why didn't? Why did you do it?" Out you right it's disgusting her mom probably said I'm it's disgusting uh you were there bro i don't know if you remember but you or like <laughs> whatever you think happened that night you organized it in your brain oh no it's not he literally put out a post saying i'm trying to have a For five real. tonight but it's disgusting. Whoa, you should be in jail, dude. Wow.
dude. It's incredible now. I mean, it's been so long that then he's, he's talking about it now. And I'm going to kick you out of the fucking family for doing some type of dumb shit like this. Bro. This video didn't make this girl look good, okay? You know, she, she looked like a fucking college slut, you know? Bro! <sighs> Dude! This is hard to watch as a guy. I can't imagine as a girl. Dude. Actually, I apologize, Hi. Olivia, that I asked you to do this. I, it, that's okay. I wasn't even thinking. I, if someone's, okay. I went through something similar to this when I was 19. If that boy spoke about me like that, I don't even, I can't listen to him say shit like that. It's so embarrassing for him for everyone involved, it's just, you are violent, you are an R-wordist, you did that. No girl wants to come out and say, this happened to me. As much as everybody thinks that people believe girls, they don't. A lot of people do not. And it's very tough to come out and do shit like this and, say, and tell your story. And he's shitting all over it by going back and calling her a slut. It's like, you're, it, he's going for all the cheap shots also. It's like, it's not even, he hasn't even thought about what he's going to say. Yeah, this is fucking nasty. I don't understand how he can say that. You're, you were there. Like, you were there. I mean, this is the, I guess he's, kind of, he's, he's part of Tate University. Where it's like, girls are sluts, dudes rule, dudes are players. He's a freak. Yeah, I'm sorry, Olivia. That's that's pretty annoying. I mean, that, I mean annoying, but it's no, disgusting. No, I'm sorry. It's Hannah. infuriating. Dude, it's kind of a mask off moment for him, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, he, I, I don't he's see. describing vividly the attack that she recounted. It's just, it's so it's so gross. Over it, dude. I'm shocked by this. I'm sorry, Olivia. I mean that. Mm. I can turn it off. Talk about. It. No, it's fine. As long as everybody knows he's wrong. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Even in his comments, oh, yeah. trust me, this has 180 likes out of 10,000 views. There's 180 Tate fans who are loving this, who are buying this, and even the comments are shitting on him. To put it, frank. I just reported it. By the way, I don't know if it's better to le to report it or just to leave it up to show what a fucking piece of shit he is. But it'll be up forever. People are saying turn it off. Yeah, we can turn it off. We don't have to watch this. What a sick fuck, Larry. Let me see if there's any other good timestamps. Dom says Ethan never invited him on. <laughs> okay, you yeah. live and you learn. Just, just jumping past the. Uh, the victim blaming violent psycho misogyny. Those girls are fucking wrong from the beginning and they're fucking framing me, right? But I didn't. That's 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 my mistake, you know? You live and you learn. Okay. Still some victim blaming there. I thought I skipped it over. Did I go? I mean, we we you obviously had like a, <laughs> a rough interview, right? Yeah. And there was a reason I was pressing. There... See, he, he never invited me for any fucking interviews. Why would I never invite once. you on, like... dipshit? <laughs> Why the fuck would <laughs> I want to talk to you? to talk to you, dude. Woo. Like, like, what would be the value of talking to you? There's already a victim that's well corroborated. Like, what would be the actual journalistic value of talking to you? You're just going to deny it. I know that. You're just going to say it didn't happen. They're lying. But, like, it's obviously corroborated. Um, yeah, and I don't want to give you a platform either. And also, it's like, it's not even about that one time. You've done this before. So it's like part of a track record of behavior. It's like, oh, no, no, he's an R worker. Oh, no, I don't want to hear from him. He never brought me on his platforms. He never gave me a chance to voice my opinion, right? Just completely fucking brushed me off. Yes. You got it, man. Whatever, whatever anger you feel towards me, Yes, that's exactly what I did, bro. I said, this guy's trash. I brushed him off. I said, I don't want to talk to you. I said, your perspective is not valid or interesting. And uh, everything you're feeling, keep feeling that because it's all true. And get off the internet, bro. Change your name, move to a new town or something. Fuck. Go to a, you know, he needs to go to a monastery or some shit and like just eat rice for 10 years. Think about shit.
Never did anything to this fucking guy. You believe this shit? It was kind of it's like so stupid. Would you have to do something to me for me to be not supporting you? An issue that we needed to get to the heart yeah. of. But I think with you, I've been, you know, I've I I have a lot of empathy for you. I liked you as a person. And that's why that's we're great. here today. Yeah. Saw that and so right. <laughs> dumb. He's so mad. I'm glad you like him, bro. I wish you liked me. Yeah, where's my fucking empathy, asshole? <laughs> You, why do you, here I am telling you, and I'm, I'm sure you're gonna see this, I have no empathy for you, you're scum, you're a demon, and uh, keep being angry, because it's absolutely right. You got it, you nailed it, bro. Yeah. I, under, I can understand from your perspective it was probably a painful and difficult to deal with, like, the receiving end of that much Well, negativity. I willingly came on the show because I felt I had nothing to hide, I'm mm -hmm. not ashamed of anything. Yeah. And I said, what's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. Was I in the right state of mind at the time? No. Yeah. I, you know, I was in and out of surgery, on meds. And it's, you're asking me about a situation three years ago, now five. I don't remember <coughs> what I said about Dan or AB on, you know. So yeah, I wasn't prepared for that type of thing. And I felt like I was the kid in making a murderer, you know? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Good, yeah, yeah. And I tried to talk. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to say. But I, 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 that analogy is not exactly perfect because I wasn't. Um, I don't feel I was coercing him into a confession, you know. But I get, I get his, I get the sentiment. Talked to you about it afterwards, and there was no door for us to even have that conversation. Yeah. Well, anyway, I don't know where this is going, but he later says something really funny. Um, there, I mean, no one else would do that. And so, no one else would do that. I literally messaged him and <laughs> I had Big Nick message him because Big Nick was just on his show, right? And he messaged Big Nick back saying, Oh, I don't want to have him on the show. He has some, some controversy about him. Uh, I don't really want to have him on. That would be a perfectly fine thing to say. But I went back and I was like, What the fuck? I don't remember talking to Big Nick about. Dom, so this is the. I went back and found this DM exchange with Big Nick. He said, Hey, Dom spoke to me and wants to come on your podcast, kind of explaining how him and Dave were high school buddies. And then after the fame, he kind of got discarded. I was like, Bro, go cry in your own channel. Like, this is so stupid. I think this must have been before the allegations. Yeah, this, look what I said. I said, Who is Dom? Was he in his videos? I've heard they, the name before. Are there allegations against him? Or is that someone else? Uh, this was it. He was like, yo, I want to come on and complain about how Dave's not buddies with me anymore. So, not exactly what he described. Right, so he didn't even give me a chance to fucking Listen to Big this. Nick back saying, oh, I don't want to have him on the show. He has some, some controversy about him. Uh, I don't really want to have him on. Right, so he didn't even give me a chance to fucking speak my mind. Bro, you're not entitled to be on my show, dumbass. You're not entitled to any attention at all. The only attention you're entitled to is from the fucking police officers and a judge. Yeah. Weird guy, dude. Weird video. Um. Oh, this is interesting. Please, I'll tell you. This, this, this sounds like a pretty compelling argument here. Let's see. Oh my god, I love you. How's life? These fucking Hollywood people are bullshit, bro. It's the bear, like a They're ton of. <laughs> I'm Hollywood. Fucking weasels. Or weasels, I'll or tell you. This association forever. I think it's fucked up, you know, how people hold shit over people's heads forever. This was a horrific crime, actually, that happened, but you didn't do it. Horrific fucking crime. You believe this guy? You know it's a horrific crime. All the fucking In and Out burgers at this fucking. You know what I mean? And, and oh, so Batman there it is, baby. Batman bad, go. our oh. man good. We, were we got him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Batman bad. I'm gonna take down all the videos relating to him right now. So true, he fucking man. owned you so hard, ladies so and gentlemen. We got him. Yep. It's so yeah. true, he though. Maybe in privating order. the videos. I, no, I'm not even privating them. I'm deleting them. I'm deleting them off the. I never right even now. thought about it like that. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I am a bit of a hypocrite to call him out for R word because yep. I do. I'm fat. Right. It's R word, but I am fat. Right. But damn, you've been slamming those double doubles, my dude. Yeah, because animal style is comparable to our. <laughs> <laughs> he totally. did it. it is. Good job, Dom. Good guy. Mm -hmm. Fucking. What a dude. guy. What a guy. <laughs>
I'm hungry for in and out now. I know. I could eat a double double right <laughs> now. Oh. Dedicated to Dom. <laughs> Get that. that. Do it's that. been very painful for you. Of course, I apologize for all the messages I've sent you afterwards. Obviously yeah. a good guy, you know, uh, Dom. Got his head on straight. He's skinny. He's skinny, so that makes him Just pretty saying. much right. Yeah. Just consider that. Yeah, I do. I do. He asks Ethan if he can come on the show. Are you fucking serious, bro? I think I was, Listen, Ethan, if you're I, really think I was serious. pretty clear about it, but here, let's see his, his uh, call to action here. Have- okay, that's good. And then there's the thing where, like, your body came to my house twice. I can't because he's a grown man. <laughs> Listen, Ethan, if you're really serious, have me on the podcast, bro. Let me come and tell my side of the story because it seems like you're just fucking roasting me till the end of time. Huh. Yep, and that's what it's going to keep being. <laughs> He can't be fucking serious. No, dude, he's entitled to come on the show. Oh my god. I think I need to lose weight before I talk to him though, because I'll be right, obviously right, right. at any. Oh, you I'll don't be... want to get back into a corner. It's just not. It's yeah. just not a fair. In fact, debate. If I'm fat. I love after a video of him talking about how you won't have him on the show. He ends it with, "So, Ethan, if you're really serious about having me on your show, yeah, <laughs> like no. these are my terms." Yeah. It would be sure. interesting to eviscerate him on the show, but ultimately he just stri- he I think this is the kind of guy who thrives on any attention, good or bad. He basically just gave a play by play of him committing the crime. I mean, I don't know how much more we could get him on. He's such an idiot. Yeah, he really is. We got promise him. I won't bite, all right. <laughs> you promise you won't you promise you won't R word anyone here? Sorry, bad joke, but yeah. But that's what I'm worried about, dude, not biting. We, can we can we uh, can we frisk you for GBT or whatever that GHB? Can we frisk you for GHB? <laughs> You're such a weirdo, bro. You're a fucking weirdo, bro. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button too. All right, push the shit in the algorithm. All right, let's don't go. worry, we won't. Yeah, Von Dutch. Yeah, um, Von Dutch. The Von hat. Dutch hat gives it away. It really right away. Dude, I know Von Dutch. Who wears that shit now? I feel like we're glossing over the like and subscribe a little too quick. <laughs> I know. It's just... <laughs> For more Ethan content like this, <laughs> Ethan won't do it, but he will. Yeah, the man. Sure. Well, well, bro. You know, um, even the R worders are doing. Well, it. I was kind of wanting to touch on that. I wanted to go to the comments. Only 122, not a lot. And he's asking for support. So let's see. This is gaslighting. Um, Sometimes people learn from their snakes, and then sometimes this happens. Bro, this goes along with the birds and bees talk. Even though a woman says yes all the way through, they can say no whenever they want. Men have to watch and know who they do their business with. Very easy for things to turn in that situation. Men have to be aware of this possibility. Uh, <laughs> that's the like, dislike. Yeah, I just checked it out with the extension. Kelly says the way... Oh, this is a new comment. This is from 10 minutes ago. This is a fooper trooper, but... Shout out, Kelly. The way in which you describe yourself assaulting her as the time of your life is disgusting. Closed out the video after that. <sighs> Good shit. Oh, this guy apparently... I don't know if... Ethan understands the internet. That's the comment. If you know, you know. We don't know. Can I read between know. the lines? Do you have a guess, A.B.? He's saying that you don't give a shit and you're milking the drama. Oh, okay. Okay. Bro, calling Ethan fat, seriously? <laughs> All right. Shout out to the Fooper Troopers out there. We love you. And that's it, guys. This has been an absolute marathon. How long have we been going? We have been going for three hours, 37 minutes, and Who 44 seconds. Who does it like seconds. us? Nobody, it. Nobody fucking does Nobody this. is this insane. Dude, we're doing three and a half hour shows four times a fucking week. Who does that? And that's that. Who can be entertaining for that long to come here together as a team to produce this high level of content? Nobody. We have 40,000 viewers after three, after fucking three and a half hours. It doesn't exist. This it is, doesn't exist. As Look. Howie said, and we need to sound bite that, Zach. Number one podcast the number in the world. One podcast in the world. My man, one you step see, ahead of you. nobody's got a sound engineer who's ten steps ahead like we do. Look did. at that. Look at that. We're like the '90s Bulls. And Absolutely, 18, baby. Number eighteen. Number all 18. day. R.I.P. to number eighteen. By the way, let's give it up for Bison, who was murdered. Yo, somebody. Okay. 
By the way, somebody... Never, I want never, to go his, back. His killer never prosecuted because of maritime law. He was in international Ooh. waters. Wow. <laughs> Very unfortunate situation. Number 18. Baby. No one else is... I, I don't follow. I don't follow. Hello? You get a slow clap. You're killing my vibe, dude. Maritime laws, murder. <laughs> I'm not following. Okay, so tomorrow we have a really fun special episode, Into the Metaverse. We're going to pay our respects at the 9-11 memorial. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Is there other people at the memorial with you? Yeah, Holy I become shit. a meta expert. I, I, okay, great. I can show you around. Yeah, it's... you can be my guide. Great. Yeah. We have two now, so maybe AB can be like a little tour guide for. By you. the way, I've met like four fans just randomly. They recognize my username. Oh, really? What's your username? It's just AB Starkiller. Oh, okay. And then someone was an ex fan of yours. Oh no! You fought, You met a fallen fan. We had a lightsaber duel in the metaverse. I told him to take back what he said. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I got you. Did AB you beat him? Kill thing with the prime. No, he fucked me up. I didn't oh, know what I was shit. doing. But I kept going. <laughs> I kept going for like a half hour. <laughs> um, People saying without Hassan, it, tomorrow is the second leftovers that we're skipping because Hassan is on a, uh, seemingly on a <laughs> tour of the whole country. Every time I look at his Twitter, he's in another place. So he's in yeah, New York right now. Next week, leftovers will be back. But tomorrow at one o'clock we'll be we'll do the metaverse episode, and on Friday we got a big old boy with Howie and C Man. What a time to be alive! Oh, and we have the second headset for tomorrow, so we can have right the third. Yeah, I can be the camera guy. Okay, that's good. I, there's a world in the metaverse that's literally just like Howie's prolapsed anus. What? Somebody I, created that? It's not really that, but a fan's the one that showed me, and it looks just like it. And it sucks. I want to go it there. It sucks you up. I'll take you there, but we won't come back. <laughs> it's a one-way finale. trip. Yeah. For the world, this is yours truly. All right, guys, so we'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. PST. Uh, I will not be seeing you on TikTok Live because I'm banned. <laughs> because all the tater tots couldn't handle this level of alpha energy. I don't know if it was the tater tots. It could have been the, the Simon Cowell stands. Yeah. They're strong. Yeah. Tower Army is strong. They're so sensitive. We get like one clip removed a week on the main TikTok. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye -bye. Number one podcast in the world.